and gentlemen, welcome again to the BAFNNL Premier South Farnham Rugby Club in Surrey as our Farnham Knights are going to be hosting the Kent Exiles. We thank you ever so much for watching as the players are about to do the coin toss out in the field. Let's see out there what we have today. We have Mr. Outway, number 66. We have uh, number 89, Godfrey. 25, Appleford, and DC number 57 out there for the Knights kicking off. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors today for bringing you the game. DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and, and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Mate, and for you for watching. We're very happy to bring you our fifth edition here as the hosts will be hosting the Kent Exiles. We're hoping for a really good game. It is windy, it's blowy, and there goes the clipboard once again. We're gonna have to try to hang on very tight today. So we're hoping for a very exciting game as the special teams will be taking the field. And we'd like to thank our refs today. Our head referee will be Keith Wickham. Our ump, Ram Hedges. Headlinesman, Victor Janvari. Our line judge, Richard Mogul. And our back judge today will be Peter Parsons. So we're hoping for a really good game as the Heights Knights will be bringing you their fifth home game tournament today, uh, game today against the Kent Exiles. And we were really hoping for a good one. If you saw the last game last week against the um, Aztecs, it was a very exciting game. The Aztecs did take the win, so the Knights are really hungry this week. They're hoping to put some pressure on the Kent Exiles, and we are really excited to have you guys here to watch the game. Remember, hashtag B-A-F-A, -A. get involved. We want to hear all of your comments. Once again, we'd like to hear from you. Give your friends and your uh, family your shout outs. Share the stream, you know how to find us. We'd like to also thank the, the Baffer Association. So uh, if you'd like to look up any more information for the Baffer Association, that is www.bafra.info. That is bafra.info. And for information on your local teams and for more information about your teams here in the Premiership, you can find them at www.bafra.info. A.com. Now, Knights are going to be kicking off the ball today. That looks like it's going to be number 99, Mr. Nevin. So we are really happy to see it here. Also, let's get your tweets. Yes, hashtag BAFA. Let's see your tweets here. Let's hear all about it today. It's going to be a good game. So if you're watching, we want to thank you. And if you're here, we want to thank you also. Hang on tight. It's a blustery one here in Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. And let's take it down to the field. to receive is number 25, Quinn Pryor for the Exiles. And number 12, Daniel XL. and news, we would more, we'll be more, happy, more than happy to keep you updated, but let's hear your comments here. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved, and it is truly windy here in Farnham. Well, wind is going to be working for Mr. Nevin as he's about to kick it off. The wind is at his back as he's about to take his line, and here we go. Let's get this game started. It's an onside kick there by the Knights, and it's fumbling in the Exiles' hands. It's picked up by number 25. He's running to the left side looking for some room. Looks like he's going to be ran out of bounds before uh, about midfield. Ran out of, out of bounds by number 25, Ampleford, and on that carry was number 25, Quinn Pryor for the Exiles. Well, let's take another look at that, an onside kick. We saw it last week, and they pull it off again, and they get a really good result on the special teams for the Farnham Knights. And as you can see, they are down there isolating there, Mr. Pryor, number 25. He has nowhere to go. Let's take the action back to the field. Quarterback of the day will be number seven for the Exiles. Number seven is James Cook. Cook's just in the pocket. Looks 
from the screen on the right side. He finds his man number 10, and he is brought down quick by Mr. Kid number 35. That was Tom Lee on the reception for the Exiles. Let's take another look. Very quick hands there, my Mr. Cook. Shoots that screen out there, but look at there. Mr. Kid is waiting for him. No one touches him, and down he goes. That's going to be a loss of about a yard. That's going to be a second and a long 11 there. James Cook in a shotgun position. Exiles lined up strong left, and there's a bump in the backfield, and Cook's looking out the pocket. He's trying to run. The pressure is being put on by the Knights, and he's going to try to throw it. It's going to be knocked down. Bellari's there also. He's wearing number 30 today. He puts the pressure on on, on the uh, Mr. Cook. We do got a flag on the field. Oh, the pressure was being put on there by the Farnham Knights here at home. He had nowhere to go, and as he tried to run out the pocket, there they were. Let's get the official ruling there by Keith Wickham on the field. Illegal forward pass by the offense. Five yards on the flag, loss of down. Well, that will third be down. the yardage and the down taken. That's going to be third down, a good uh, 25, 30 yards there for the Exiles. Third down in a very long. Tommy Lee in the backfield for the Exiles, number 10. Also number 12, Daniel XL. Exiles lined up strong right. Cook at the shotgun. Cook on the snap. Option lateral. Tosses it off. It's XL. XL taking the snap, number 12. And he's finally wrapped up by the Knights, but he's going to have a good gain of about 12 yards on that play from Daniel. Good run there by Daniel. For, and here comes the special teams. A good stoppage for the Farnham Knights defense. Let's look at the pressure and the containment that they put on Cook on that one. There is the toss there. Daniel shoots to the outside, but there is Kid, Niven, Amp Lee, Bellari. They are all there. He had nowhere to go. That's going to be a fourth down situation, and they will be punting the ball. Back to receive will be Godfrey, number 89. Nice clean snap. Ball hits about midfield. Godfrey's going to let it go. That'd be a good field position for the Farnham Knights. Gonna take that ball and throw 26 yard line. Farnham Knights for, stop the first drive of the Kent Exiles here in Farnham Rugby Stadium. What a drive. Let's see how the Knights offense is gonna do here. Led out there by Callum Brown, number four. Here are the Knights are, taking the ball out on their own 27-yard uh, line. First and 10. Ball in the backfield. Play action fake to Sequala. He's looking at the field. Oh, and intended for number 88. The ball is going to be incomplete. He was clean and clear down the field, but that ball was just incomplete. Nice throw there. Callum, look at Callum Brown taking his time, sitting in the pocket. No pressure putting on them. Nice flash and fake, and there it is. Nice clean pass there, and just a little bit misread there, but good pass protection by the Knights. Second and 10, Farnham. Snap is handed off to Sequala. Sequala's cutting in the inside. Sequala's looking for some room on the outside. Sequala gets a good gain of about six yards. Sequala looks for a hole on the left side. It gets a uh, block, it gets uh, collapsed. He bounces off, finds another little room on the end, on the out right side. There it is. And look at the footwork as he does a quick cut over there to the right, and there's that hole, and he starts to fight for another couple of yards before he is brought down by number 27 for the Kent Exiles. That's gonna be third and four. Farnham Knights. Callum out the shotgun, squall on the eye back. 
Hands it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking off to the right side. Sequala's breaking the tackle. Sequala's looking for more. Sequala's looking for the first down. He may have it before he's finally ran out of bounds. Hammer and Sequala on the carry. And we do have a man down. They are calling for a medic. Looks like we may have one of the Kent Exiles down now on the other side of the field. We'd like to thank, uh, take this time to, uh, to thank uh, our sponsors today. Show is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Made Productions. Well, it's a windy one here. Let's take another look at that play as they hand it off to Sequala. Let's see if we can find out what happened on the other side of that field. There was a lot of action going on. All right, there's Big 92 from the Exiles. He breaks that tackle there, and he goes on. Oh, there we go. It looks like uh, we had a couple of players that may have uh, collided with each other, but he had players back on his feet. He's okay, so we take the action back to the field. Barnum Knights, fourth down situation, fourth and short. That is a long two for the Knights. A uh, quick timeout call there by the Knights. Ready, At 12 minutes, 12 tonight. seconds, first timeout, Barnum. Well, that's the first time out of the game called by the Farnham Knights. They put Freddie in there with a the new uh, play call there. Fourth and a long two. Freddie, squall in the backfield. Brown in the shotgun. Carter line. Um, far left. Godfrey far right. Snap, handed off to Sequala. Sequala's going straight up the middle. Sequala's fighting for the first down. Knees are still pumping. He may have enough for the forward progress. Let's see where they're going to mark the ball. What a brave drive there by the Farnham Knights. Straight up the middle, opening holes. The old line is working hard today for Sequala. And that looks like that is going to be enough for the first down. Yes, I seen Keith pointed down. They're moving the chains down, and the Knights are on the move today here. Well, let's hear your comments here. Hashtag BAFA, and you know how to find us on Twitter. BAFA. Get involved. We want to hear from you. First and ten, ball midfield. Farnham Knights. Brown out the shotgun. Lateral toss to Sequala. He's going to feed it right off the tackle. Dives back through the middle. He's going to get a short gain of about a yard and a half. Good containment there by the Kent Exiles on that play. That will be enough for a couple of yards as we can see Sequala there as he makes his power drive as we start to get a good familiar, getting very familiar with the power of Aaron Sequala and his abilities. Um, I can't put nothing past him when he starts going up the middle or out the outside. He starts putting those shoulders down and he is a fine specimen of an athlete. We'd like to thank all the athletes here at the league here at the B-A-F-A-N-L, Premier, Premiership South. I must be cold today, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we'd like to also say, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Now, play action fake to Sequala going up field. Looking for the big 88 again, and that pass is going to be incomplete. Brown saying it looks like he got bumped there, but that was a good uh, defensive play by uh, Kent Exiles. Let's take another look at that play there. Brown, he takes a nice good play action fake. Now the pressure is being put on there by the secondary of the Kent Exiles. So he does have a, um, he does throw it away, which is a good idea rather than to keep it or to have an interception. So that is going to be a third and a long six here for the Farnham Knights midfield position. Callum, nice snap. Hand it to Sequala. Sequala up the middle again. He is wrapped up there by the Exiles. No gain. And here comes the special team. So that was uh, number 15 there on the tackle there. Uh, Lee Morgan for the Exiles. And big 55 there for the Exiles. And uh, thank you ever so much for the Kent Exiles for providing us uh, your roster. That is number 55. That is John Paul. So that's going to be a fourth down situation here. The Exiles have stopped the Knights on their first possession of the ball. So that is going to be number 99. Given to punt the ball back to receive is number 33. That's number 35 of the Kent Exiles. 
by Snap, and it's put up very high by Nevin. A very, very clean punt. Takes a good bounce. Now before he's gonna let it go out of bounds, a fantastic punt by the special teams of the Farnham Knights. Nevin on the good foot, puts it in great field position. Let's see how the defense from the Farnham Knights can keep the Exiles there and contained. Great punt by Mr. Nevin. I tell you, he's been improving as the season's been going on here. Very impressed, very impressed. So that's gonna be first down for the uh, Exiles. They're gonna take that ball at their own 17 yard line. Well, you see the sun starting to peek out just a little bit. First and 10 can exile. Cook number seven on the ham. Ball out the shotgun. Calmly in the high back. They go in motion. He's looking for a screen to the big man, number 86. He's going to push it out, and he's finally ran out of bounds by Bellari wearing number 30 today. A nice green pass there to number 86, Aaron Whitworth. Moves the ball down the field. That's going to be a second and uh, second and three for the Kent Exiles. Great play there. Let's take another look there at that snap. Good pass protection there for Mr. Cook. Sits in the pocket there. He puts it right on out there. Mr. Whitworth takes it. Takes it for a positive drive up the field. Before he's finally ran out of bounds by Bellari, number 30 today. Second, long three. Ball hashed on the right side of the field. Cook taking the ball with the shotgun. He's looking at the left side. The pressure's being put on by the Knights. And he's the foot races on. And there's Bellari chasing him out of bounds on the left side. The pass was, the play was broken up, but he may have enough for the first down. Play was broken up by the Farnham Knights. Cook had a run out of bounds. He may have enough for the first down. Let's see where they're going to mark the ball. Uh, well, that will be a no gain, about a gain of a couple of inches on that. So that's going to be third down, third and a yard and a half there for the Kent Exiles. Very important play for them. James Cook, number seven, on the shotgun. Run back number 12. Daniel on that will carry. Daniel looks for some room up the middle, and the Knights go very low on him, and that is going to be a stoppage. That'll be a fourth down situation. Let's take another look at that play. Look at the defense. I told you they are looking crisp. Look at the play there. Mr. Peacock 92 puts the power drive on him, and that's a great tackle there, and that's going to be a fourth down situation. They'll be punting the ball, so that's the second stoppage there against put on the Exiles by the Farnham Knights. Godfrey to receive the punt. Nice kick there by number one, Harry Kent. That's gonna go about midfield, and it's gonna bounce towards the Exiles, so they're gonna down that very quick. Matter of fact, Harry downed that ball himself. He kicked it and he downed it, so that's gonna put the ball in middle field position. Great field position for the Farnham Knights as they will be taking their second possession of the ball. What a drive by the Kent Exiles as the Knights put the stoppage on them. This is a very good game, very competitive game. And once again, we would like to thank you for watching. Hashtag BAFA, get involved. You know where to find us and we'd like to hear from you on Twitter also. Here come the Knights. Jameson Carter on the far right, Godfrey far left. Got Stevie and Squall in the backfield. Oh, the Knights are looking cheerful today. The sun's starting to come out, and the ball's headed to Sequala. It's Aaron Sequala up the middle. It's Aaron Sequala on the left side. It's a foot race as Aaron Sequala's finally ran out of bounds by the defense of number 33. What a drive by the Farnham Knights. Let's see if we can see that again. The blocking on the left side of the O opened up a huge hole in the line. Aaron just walked right on through. Look at it again, huge hole. And he goes right up the field, turns on the speed, down shifts and does another cut. And it's a foot race until he's finally ran out of bounds by number 33 for the Kent Exiles. That's Nick Mayer. That's gonna be a first and 10. Knights are in the Exiles red zone today. 
Now, hand it back off to Sequala. He does a, a cut to the left side. It's Aaron Sequala looking for the end zone. And Aaron Sequala does a leap. And he no flags on the play. That's a touchdown. On a night. What a play and what a leap into the end zone of victory for the Farnham Knights here as they are showing that it is town time to be dominant in Farnham, Surrey. Let's see if we can take a look, another look at that touchdown by Aaron Sequala. Beautiful, beautiful cut. Nice hole by the Knights and look at the speed by Aaron Sequala. Once he turns it on, he is just filling it today. And look at this little whoopsie daisy. There we go, it's all mine. And back to do the extra point today will be number 99. Change the kicking team, five yards, still a try. We do have a flag on the play. They're gonna be pushing that ball back five yards. Mr. Niven will be kicking that ball back further five yards for the extra point attempt. 25 seconds, 25 seconds. So if you're club. interested in being one of the referees, www.bafra.info. You can find more of the rules and regulations. We do play the NCAA. And the ball snap. Nimmin puts it up and it's, it's down. Hits the ground. Nice thing to be picking it back up. Is the ball live? Uh, let's get the official ruling. And that is going to be a no good. So your, far, your scoring update today, Farnham Knights 6, Kent Exiles 0 here in Farnham Rugby Stadium here in Farnham, Surrey. Uh, the wind's calmed down a little bit. It's feeling a little bit better here. The players are looking sharp. And we like to take this time to thank our sponsors, as always, DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports and our the friends here at illegally Cheers by the State kicking Cheers team after being the here for the five games the through the, no the uh, five game edition that we've been bringing you the show here in Farnham Surrey they've done a great job and we'd like to thank you for watching please continue to watch share the stream we're having a good time here as the special teams take the field and the Knights will be kicking the ball off back to receive will be number 12 Daniel Excel and number 25 Gwen Pryor Niven to kick the ball off today. I am seeing some serious focus by the Knights this week. And the ball is up. Great kick by Niven. And they're going to let that ball roll into the end zone. Niven puts it right out there, not giving the Kent Exiles any time to return the ball. That ball will be marked on the 20-yard line. First and 10, Kent Exiles. Well, our studio manager told me that I will be getting a couple of guest analysts joining me today, so I can't wait for them to come on up and join me. Um, I've seen a couple of great players out there that I've seen, uh, I've seen earlier today. I'd like to give a big shout out to, uh, and happy Father's Day to Mr. Stephen Price out there. Big happy Father's Day to Tango. Big happy Father's Day out there to Ox. And a big happy Father's Day to everybody else out there. You know who you are. Happy Father's Day. Take the action to the field. First and 10. Exiles ball on their own 20. Cook at the shotgun. Took looking for the screen. He finds his man, number 86. But the Knights are there and they contain him. Nowhere to go for Aaron Whitworth on that, on that uh, carry. Good hands by Whitworth, but the Knights were there. That's going to be a short gain of about a couple of yards. Let's take another look at that. Very quick hands and quick reflexes by Cook. Shoots that ball out to that screen, and there's Whitworth. Great height on that young man, but there's the Knights. They're both there, Tom Tame and Mr. Kidd. Nowhere to go, what a combination. Second, long eight, hit, exiles. It's a snap, play action fake. He's fine, Whitworth on the left side. Whitworth on the carry. Cook takes it and changes it over to the left side there. Cook Whitworth combination. Whitworth on the reception. Good gain of about four yards. That's going to be third down. Let's take another look at that. 
Whitworth on that far side. Big man's pretty tall. Good play action fake there, and there he is right there. Got some down down uh, field blocking before the nice container. Gain of a couple of yards. That's going to be third and three. The snap. Play action face this in the pocket. He looks for Whitworth again, and he's pounded on there by number 22. Mr. Powers, Emmett Powers on the tackle. But that is going to be a good enough for the first down. Quick hands there to Whitworth once again. And he is hit hard by Powers. Look at that again. Right up the middle, Whitworth says, I'm right here. And boom, Powers is right there. Quick hit there by the Farnham Knights. But that is going to be enough for the first down. First and 10. And Exiles. And Exiles lined up. Strong right. Snap, play action fake, and that pressure is being put on again. Quinn's looking to run the ball. He's got a first down as he's finally ran out of bounds. The pressure came on there by the Farnham Knights, but as the play got broken up, Quinn found a little hole on the left side, trucked it right on down there, and that is going to be good enough for the first down. Let's take another look at the speed there. James Cook, he has some speed. Yes, that's James Cook on the carry, and my apologies to the quarterback. Midfield position there for the Exiles. They start to move the ball right on down the field. Exiles come out strong right. Cook out the shotgun. Takes the snap. He's looking to the left side. That pressure is again put on. And Cook is running in the ball. That pressure is being put on by the Knights. And boom, he's in Big Ebelford. And he is put down hard. James Cook. Just stands right on up once the play is broken up. He tries to find a hole to the right side. The Farnham Knights contain him. There is nowhere to go. Let's look at the big hits that were put on Mr. Cook today by the Knights. They are really hitting low and hard. Look at it as the pressure comes on. Nowhere to go. And here it is. The first pressure there. Boom, there's Ampleford. Oh, and there it is. James is taking a very hard lick in there. That's going to be third and a long two for the King Exiles. Let's see if James can get a little bit more protection behind him there. Cook sits in the pocket. He's looking for his man right up middle. Boom, he finds his man, number 25. What a blast there by James Cook. He finds his man. That is Quinn Pryor, uh, Quinn Pryor, number 25, on the reception. That is going to be enough for the first down for the Kent Exiles. As they are moving the ball very quickly here on the Farnham Knights. That ball is going to be going on, moving about to the 38-yard uh, line. Takes a snap. Cook's looking for his man. And the ball is put down by Freddie, intended for number 89. Pass is incomplete. That was to Daniel Whitfield, and that ball is broken up by Freddie. Great hands by the defensive secondary of the Farnham Knights. Look at Freddie as he comes on the other side of the field. There's his man. He sits in the pocket. Great time there for Cook, and there he is. Freddie's like, nope, not today. Puts it right on down, and that is going to be pass incomplete. Second and 10. BAFA. Get involved. Ball snap. He's looking to the right side for his man, and the ball is incomplete. Intended for number 86. That ball hits the ground. That pass is incomplete. Ample for it once again on the play. Let's take another look at that, and you'll see exactly how that ball is going to hit the ground. There's a snap. And that is Powers on that play, number 22. Instant replay. I love it. <laughs> Instant replay. Third and 10, Kent Exiles. Your scoring update, Farnham Knight 6, Kent Exiles 0. We're at 222 in the first quarter play left to play. Number 26, he is going up the hole. He finds the hole, 
Off the tackle, and he's finally contained. We have a lateral there to number 26, uh, George Ader of the Kent Exiles. He takes it off the left tackle. Gain of about four yards. That's gonna be a fourth down situation. And it looks like the special teams are coming out. Let's take another look at that play and how it, the Farnham Knights are contained. And look at all of that blue. As he's starting to try to break tackles, they are using the numbers to finally push him out of bounds and contain him today. That is gonna be a fourth down situation. Now it does look like they're going to punt. Back to receive is Mr. Godfrey. Let's take a look at the field. Ball's put up, he's aiming for the left side. And oh, out of bounds. Harry Kent on the, on the special teams punt there for the Kent Exiles. He was trying to target the left corner of the field uh, and pushes it out of bounds. So that's going to bring the ball back out to the field. Good field position for the Farnham Knights. Well, once again, we'd like to thank you ever so much for watching and for your comments. Hashtag BAFA, get involved. And we'd like to also uh, let you know that BAFA and ANL League, Premier South, you can find more information at uh, www.bafa.com. And for more information of our rules and regulations and our referees here, at www.bafara.info. That's bafra.info. We're taking action back to the field, first and 10. Farnham Knights, ball on the 20. A snap. Hand it off to Godfrey. Godfrey's putting the speed on and a quick spin there by Mr. Stephen Godfrey. Good gain of about three yards before he's finally brought down by the Kent Exiles, number 56. Joe, Joe, Alex on the tackle. Look at that again. Godfrey, he is very fast, keeps himself low, and look how he protects the ball always before he's finally wrapped up by the Exiles. But that's going to be a good gain of about four yards, so that's going to be second and a long six for the Farnham Knights. And I feel the sun is starting to shine here on Father's Day in Surrey. Callum with the snap, hands it to Sequala. Sequala's gonna put his head down and drive through the middle, looking out hole for a hole off the left side guard. Offensive line for the Farnham Knights are is really working. Healy number 58, 57 DC, 66 outweight. House 67 on the snap today. Third and long four, Farnham Knights. Jameson, Carter, strong left. Godfrey, strong right. Ball in the backfield. The snap, play action, he faked. Sequala and Callum's gonna keep the ball. Callum driving for the first down. Callum Brown on the carry. Play action, fake Sequala. Callum's gonna keep it and he's gonna drive to move the chains down for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. That was great running there by Callum. He is feeling very courageous today as he drives his head right on down on that carry. Let's take that little instant replay back. Great play action fake and look at him just put the speed on. I didn't think he was that fast. Oh yes, Callum Brown's got some wheels. Let's take the action back to the field. Well done Knights, first down. He would like to this always the end of the first quarter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first quarter of play. Your fifth edition, the Farnham Knights Streaming Show, Farming Far, Farnham Knights Six, Kent Exiles Zero. And we'd like to thank our sponsors, but I'd first like to thank our cameraman and the production team here at Cheers Mate. So uh, thank you guys ever so much. We'd like to also thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment. True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, Cheers Mate Production, and you for watching as always. I gotta say, I like to give a couple of LT Sports, LT Sports, LT Sports. I missed one of my sponsors last week. Shame on me, so LT Sports, my apologies. That's a couple of extra bangs out there for your buck. <laughs> All right, now, first and 10, Farnham Knights taking the ball on their own 30-yard uh, 30, 30 line. Callum to Sequala. Sequala open, finding a hole up the middle and a good gain of a four yards. The O-line of the Farnham Knights is definitely doing their job, and I must also admit they are keeping down the penalties today as this game is really starting to progress and get very competitive. Great drive there by Sequala. That's going to be second and a long six. 
Let's take another look at the O-line and Sequala. And he just drives right on down. Once again, it is about inches. Great block there by House. Opening up additional couple of inches there for Sequala to progress right on down the field. Okay, second down. Nice, come out strong right. Nice snap. Brown, he's looking upfield to Godfrey. Brown, he's looking for Godfrey. It's in and out the hands of Godfrey. Great pass protection there by the Kit Exiles, number 40 on that play. What a play. That was Jay Henderson on the defensive back. What an arm. Callum Brown had great pass protection in the pocket. Let's take a look at that play there. Callum Brown and the O-line are working hard today. Great pass protection, great arm. He sends it right down there. It's looking right into Godfrey's hands. If it's almost there, great play, great defensive play there by the Kent Exiles. Broken up there by number 40, Jay Henderson. That is going to be third, six, Arnhem Knights. Battle of toss to the right side. Squala. Squala looking for some room at the right side. He's got blocking downfield before he run out of bounds. That is going to be good enough for the first down. Aaron Squala on the carry. Great lateral toss over there. That is going to move the chains right on down. Let's take another look at that play. Great snap there. Lovely toss there. And look at the blocking. Aaron says, I'm just gonna follow that right on down. I got enough for the first down. We'll just call it quits. Great carry there by the Farnham Knights as they're starting to move the ball into Kent Exiles territory. Ball is exactly midfield. So if you're at home watching the game, once again, get you something nice and cold or put the kettle on, put your feet up, turn it on, stereo up, put that little DTS button on so it sounds all good. And we got a flag on the play. Delay of game, offense, number four. Five yards, still first down. That's gonna be against Callum Brown, delay of game. Guess he took a little bit too long before he uh, called the snap to get the ball off, so that's gonna push the ball back. That's gonna be first and 15. Well, I couldn't enjoy a better Father's Day than being here uh, commentating with all of you people here. For the viewers and the ones here in Farnham Regal Stadium, and that snap off, play action, fake. He's looking for Godfrey. He's looking for Godfrey upfield, and it is Godfrey. Stephen Godfrey on the carry. I knew it was going to be true. What a play. He had all the time in the world. That arm, once again, is just looking like a dynamite kid, and he finds Godfrey all alone on the right side. Godfrey brings the chains down. Let's see if we can look at that play again. Oh, what a play it was. Great play action fake, look it right downfield, and Godfrey is all alone, right in the numbers. It couldn't have been better, and a great catch there by Stephen Godfrey. That is going to be first and goal, Farnham Knights. Yep. And it's Squala. Squala's going to do a cut to the left side. It's a foot race. Squala has it all alone. What a play. Aaron Squala puts the speed on here. And the Knights are dominating the game in Farnham today. What a drive by the Farnham Knights. Let's see if we can look at that play again. What speed. I think he must have been smiling because I was. And there he is. Back for the extra point today, number 99, Mr. Devin. Godfrey to hold, and it's a fake, and Godfrey's gonna take the snap, and he's looking to try to run it in. He does the dive in, does he get the ball across? Oh no, Parsons says no. He did not get the ball across the plane, and that is not gonna be good enough for the two-point conversion, and that will be your scoring update today here. Barnum Knights 12, Kent Exile zero. Look at this again. Godfrey takes it, 
boom, and he hits a foot race right there. Godfrey says, look, and I can outrun him. I can do it. He tries to dive in, tries to get the ball across the plane. Great attempt there by Stephen Godfrey, but it's just not enough, so that is going to be no good on the extra point conversion there. Once again, your scoring update here in Farnham, Rugbyville in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights, 12, Kent Exiles, zero. What a game, what a game, what a game. Remember, we want to hear all of all your input. We want to hear from you. Let's hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. Remember, we also can get your tweets this week. Our production team is working hard. You know how to find us. Tweet us your comments. Hashtag BAFA. And the uh, kick is off. Mr. Nevin, 99, puts it up. And it's going to bounce into the feet of the receiver. Number 29, he's going to take it, take it up the middle. And boom, he is covered by the boys in blue. Nowhere to go. That is number 29 on the receipt, on the run back on there. That is Robin Berber straight on the carry. Great uh, kick there by Mr. Nevin, number 99. And a nice carry back there by the Kent Exiles. That ball is going to be marked about at the 38-yard line. First and 10, Kent Exiles. <laughs> and here we go. We have uh, our quarterback, number seven. Number 25, Quinn Pryor. He's breaking tackles, and boom, he is snuffed up there by Michael Peacock, number 92. Nowhere to go on that one whatsoever. What a defensive play there. Quick hands there to, uh, to number 25, Quinn Pryor for the Exiles. He does a quick cut there, and boom, he is snatched up by 52 for the Farnham Knights, Andrew Welsh. And he's followed up there by the boys in blue. Nowhere to go. That's going to be a short game. That is going to be second down, long five. Kent Exiles. George Ader, number 26 in the bat, eye bat. James Cook out the shotgun for the Exiles. That'll toss off to, to George. George makes popcorn on the field. He sees Freddie, and Freddie sees George, and it's a big hit. Gain of about two yards. Oh, Freddie puts popcorn on the field. It's jack like a time here at Farnham Rugby Stadium. And oh, I think I have my special guest coming up to see me. I think so. That would be so nice. And here he is. So nice it is to see Mr. Price. Stephen Price, welcome to the studio. Let me get one of the guys to get you your mic here. You're alive, Stephen. Oh, okay, cool. Well, Stephen, what are you thinking of the game so far? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's good. It's good to see us Knights in charge in, in front. Um, <clears throat> a better offensive performance from us, which is good so far. It's about sustaining it, right? We've got to make sure we, uh, <laughs> that we keep this up and stop them scoring. Well, we'll see exactly how we're going to be able to do that. Um, on that uh, play, looks like that ball was completed. Uh, and they are going to measure that ball. They'll be bringing the chains out on that one. So, Stephen Price, Farnham player. Stephen's been playing. Stephen, you've been one of the players here for Farnham Knights for how many years? Uh, 2006. I, I, I first played for the Knights. 2006. How many Brit Bulls? Championships, two with the Knights. Yeah. And then uh, one, uh, one European semi final. We, we, got, not, we got taken out in the semi. Um, God, what was that, 2007, I think? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that was a tough one. That was in uh, Zurich. Oh, <laughs> you got two of those big, pretty rings, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know they're, you not, do. They're, they're not the ones that count, right? Like they're, they're, they're Division One, where we, we, want the, we want the big show, right? We want, we want the, the premiership. So uh, I joined two years after we, we won uh, Brit Bowl, and uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to get back to. Well, let's take the action to the field as the Farnham Knights are driving to be there once again. That is going to be a good enough for the first down for the Kent Exiles. They'll be taking that ball midfield. Exiles! First and 10, James Cook. Number seven, out the shotgun. He falls in the pocket. He's looking for his man at the field. He's looking for his man. It is overthrown, intended for number 14. Daniel Simmons, that ball is going to be incomplete. 
Oh, Steven, what did you see on that play? Was the defense on him or what? Uh, actually, I think it was a little bit of a blown coverage. But, yeah, we can see it was well overthrown by a good eight yards. Um, so, yeah, nothing too bad. But you, you, do, you ideally want to have that in front of you as the, uh, as the, as the safety, especially when it looks like we've got, we had three covering deep on that play. You heard it from Steven with three covering deep. That was a great defensive play there by the Farnham Knights. And that's going to take the action back to the field. It exiles are being contained by the Farnham Knights here in Farnham, Surrey. That's going to be second and ten. James Cook got the shotgun. Play action fake, and he's going to hand it oh, off to his it. man, number 26. And he is snuffed up by the boys in blue again. Did you see that play? That was by George on the carry. He had nowhere to go. That's going to be a loss of yardage on that one, Stephen. So, yeah, if you see, uh, is, it, is it 99 for us? Uh, Akos, if you see him here, he, he gets off his block, he keeps the guy on his, he keeps his outside shoulder open. Perfect. Oh. Textbook play for him. Allows the uh, linebacker and the, and the corner to come in and make that tackle. Really, really good play. Great play. So that's going to be loss of yardage. That's going to be third down, third and four, 13. Cook out the shotgun. Exiles lined up strong left. The snap, play action fake, and it's Cook. Cook looking yeah. for the outside oh, oh, in that oh, pocket, oh. and it's a foot race. And yeah, he's he is going to try to be pushed out of bounds. And we do have a flag on the play. What do you think happened on that one, Steven? So if you see the left tackle, I think he's number 51 for the Exiles. Um, he holds number 90 Holding. for us. I don't know who number 90 is. 51. Um, yeah, there you go. He's calling it down. Um, so yeah, th th that was really blatant. And w w where Hang you hold on, on the play ball. side, you can see it clearly on the camera here. You hold on the play side, meaning the way the ball's going, you're always going to get called. The sideline, um, the side judge was the one that got it. Well, you heard it from Stephen Price, and it was very evident. You've seen it on the instant replay. That was a hold there by number 51 for the Exiles, and that is definitely going to cost them five yards. That's Adam Pearson's, and that is definitely going to push the ball back. That's going to be third and 18. So that's it. That's, you know, that's, that's that's two plays in a row that our ends have done well on the play. You know, getting held. I know. Yeah, he's drawing the penalty. Yeah, it's not actually making the play as it were, but drawing the penalty is good enough. He stood there and clapped, and, uh, and we're back in. You know, we're, we're third and long. Um, we should be. I reckon we, we should see probably cover three from us, but let's see. James Cook out the shotgun. Yeah, Daniel number twelve is I back. They're going to play action fake. It's a draw. He hands it to Daniel, number 12, and he's looking for up the middle. He's breaking a couple of tackles, but he's going to come up short before he even gets near the first down. What a defensive play, but the draw play gets pulled on for the Exiles. They send it off to number 12, Daniel Excel. Look at it as he hands it off. There's that hole as he steps right on through, tries to put on the speed, and there is the secondary for the Farnham Knights, Bellari, and the team and the boys in blue as they finally break it up with Mr. Kidd. Also, nowhere to go. That's going to be a fourth down. They will be punting back to punt. Today will be Mr. Harry Kent. Back to receive for the Farnham Knights is Stephen Godfrey. Oh, high punt. Goes out of bounds. Your thoughts on that, Stephen? Yeah, I, um, I don't know if they meant to do that. I think that, you know, as you can tell, we're up here. There's a very strong wind here today. And it's blowing in that direction. I think that I think they meant to, you know, nice deep punt, but I don't I don't quite think he meant to punt that out of bounds at the 20. But you know, it's, it's good enough field position. I think both sides would be happy with that. Well, that should put that should put the Farnham Knights in a good neutral field position, and that is going to be a first and ten. As we have a great competitive game out here today. It's actually at the 25 that they've marked it. So yeah, yeah not bad. Not bad result. Not a bad result for the Farnham Knights on that. And there's the whistle. So, yeah, hopefully now we'll, we'll start seeing a little bit more ball in the air from the Knights because, uh, well, that last drive, that, you know, that's what broke it up. The, the, we were getting a bit too, the, the defense was getting a bit too tightened up in the middle and getting too predictable on the run. And there's the snap. They hand it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for a hole on the left side. Sequala's wrapped up. Sequala gets a gain of about four yards before he's finally wrapped up by the Exiles. And we got a player getting up very yeah, looks, uh, slow. That is number 15, Lee Morgan, for the Exiles, and it looks like uh, he is definitely getting up very slow. We're going to take this time to thank our sponsors while the Mettis goes and sees Lee, uh, Mr. Lee Morgan. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, PA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, 
True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions for watching the game. And so, Mr. Price, we understand that you're a father, and happy Father's Day. I, I gave you a shout-out earlier. I Did saw you, you with, your, with your baby son down there. Yeah. Tell us more about that. What's his name? <laughs> uh, his name's Ace, um, and, uh, yeah, he's my son. He's, he's one on Saturday, so this Saturday he turns one. This is his first birthday. Um, yeah, he's, he's a good little baby. <laughs> so guys, you can't see Stephen. He's the moment. blushing. <laughs> he's actually blushing here. I, I can't believe it, but... It's good to see these uh, <laughs> these players. I've seen them as young men, and as from young men, they could become men, and now they become fathers. And <laughs> after that, you know it's after that. You know? <laughs> so uh, once again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Hashtag B A F A. Get involved. We want to hear from you, and uh, hey, you know how to find us. Send us your tweets. Hashtag BAFA, we want to hear from you. And for more about our rules and regulations and more information about the league, please see us at www.bafa.com. And that player is up, and he is back on his feet. That's good to see. Good sportsmanship. Everybody's glad to see Mr. Lee Morgan back on his feet, number 15. So the refs will uh, resume play. For 7.45 in the second quarter of play, second and a long six, what do you think they're going to do on this play? Well, I would go straight for the guy that's just come on, right? Like, that, that's, that's typically what you see at the, the, this level. So uh, a throw to the, 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 the left side receiver. Amazing. Let's take a look and see if that happened. He's going upfield. He's looking for Carter. He's looking for Carter. <laughs> and it's going to be. Is that no, an no, interception he was or is he out of bounds? Let's see exactly the official yeah. ruling. Kent says that's an interception on that far left side. Pass was intended for Carter. Carter had his man just about outbeat. Whoops, there it was. It kind of came up a little bit short. He had to take a step back to try to get the ball. Didn't land up in his hands, and that looks like it may be an uh, incomplete pass. Let's get the official ruling on the field. The ruling on the field is the receiver didn't have control until he hit out of bounds. An incomplete pass. Cool. So, yeah, uh, probably passing it to the left wasn't the best idea, but that was what I, I thought they were going to call. So, uh, well, yeah. that was very good. <laughs> Impressive work. That is Mr. Steven Price up here with us today as um, analyzing, um, using his experience and bringing it to bear. And we got a hand off there to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the hole between the guard and the tackle on the left side. He comes up short. That is going to be a fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights. And it looks like the special teams will be coming out on the play. Uh, we, got, we got a man down. That looks to be Healy, number 58. Yeah. So, Stephen, are you going to be putting the uniform back on anytime soon? Yeah, Do you so, see it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually registered to play this season, but because um, of uh, yeah family commitments, uh, I've said to them, if we can't field a team, then I'll play. <laughs> so I'm just coming along to enjoy it for now. But um, yeah, so uh, you you won't you probably hopefully you won't see me play this season, but then I'll be back next year. Well, you you heard it from Stephen Price. We're going to see him and, um, back in blue. <laughs> Sometime we, on the next season. And uh, we should have Hatch as well, coming along as well. Uh, so uh, that'll be nice. But is that in the Daniel middle. Hatcher, right, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Hatch will be back. Well, well. So we're, we're going to... We'll keep that on the down low for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Healy, Healy looks to be very sore as they're starting to help yeah. him off to the field there. We're going to hope that he's going to be all right. So a fourth down situation. Medics are clearing the field. All right, and here we go, back to the field. Fourth down situation, back to punt. Number 99, Mr. Niven, back to receive today. The Exiles. This is a tough one, he's punting into the wind and it stayed in the air a while. So you should expect it to just be downed. Oh, did he touch it? And if he touched it, that will be the Knights ball. No. And the ref says, no, he didn't touch it. See well, let's take another look at that play by the special teams of the Farnham Knights again. Your thoughts, Stephen Price? Well, I'm, I'm looking at this heel, this back, back heel from this uh, from this Exiles player. He didn't really look like he knew what he was doing. People were shouting at him um, to clear it, and it's just whether it touches. I think it's 92 here, as we see it on the screen. So he sort of turns, and no, no, it doesn't touch him. 
Oh, that was Johnny. Ooh, no, no, oh, sorry, it was close. He did, he stepped over it. He did step over it. But oh, no, Johnny had enough sense to get clear of it. Ab was finally down there by number 90. E man. And you hear the defense getting rowdy here in Farnham, Surrey, as they're putting the pressure and shutting down the Kent Exiles here. Your scoring update. Farnham Knights 12, Kent Exiles 0. Ball is snapped. Play action nice. fake. He's looking for a screen to the right side. He finds his man, number 86, Whitmore. What a good hands there by Aaron Whitworth. Quick screen play, that's a Cook to Whitworth combination. He works that very good, and then a uh, short gain, if any, on that play. Let's take another look at that play, Steven. Yeah, I think it's funny. I think both offenses are trying to do the same thing now. They're trying to spread this defense and, and clear up the middle, so, so, you know, to clear it out for their running backs, because they're running back to their, their power players on both offenses here today, it seems. Second down. Shotgun, Exiles line, strong left. Play action fake, and he hands it off to the man. He bounces off some tackles before he's brought down by E-Man. We got flag. a flag on the play. That was a late one. Um, be interesting to see what this is. Well, well we will be uh, interested. That was a carry by George Ader on that. Let's get the official ruling by Keith Wickham on the field. First all foul, face mark, defense number 90. 15 yards, first down. Shame. That's against E-Man. Face mask, what do you think of that penalty? Yeah, th these ones are a killer, right? Because, you, you, you know, you, you were facing, what, third and eight there, um, one, one more play, and then and then they got a punt, and now you give them a fresh set of downs. They're now in your territory. Um, th these are tough ones to take and, um, as a defense. You don't want to be charging back all the time, and these ones kill you. The so. penalties can kill you, as you heard it. That is definitely going to be a first down for the Kent Exiles, and they're going to be moving the ball slowly into Farnham territory. Once again, that penalty was a killer. First and ten, Kent Exiles, they come down back on the field. Strong left. George is the high back. Play action fake. Ooh, and nice. he's going to keep the ball. The pressure is put on. Niven just misses him, and he's going to throw it out. He finds his receiver. The pressure was being put on by the Farnham Knights. He has to finally throw it out, and he finds his man downfield, number 74, Sam Hollins. Short gain of any. Let's take another look at that play. Steve, your thoughts? Yeah, I think it, but you know what? They did well um, uh, to, to execute this. He, he side-armed through it. He had he had pressure, obviously, from uh, from our end, Niven, but he didn't, should have really got the tackle there. But, um, yeah, really nice little side-arm throw. Nice catch, turning upfield straight away. Um, and then, you know, he was closed down pretty quick. He, he probably could have done with just dropping his shoulder and getting those extra yards there. But, yeah, a good play by them. That was number 10, Tom Lee, on the reception for the Exiles. That's going to be second down, second, long seven. Exiles, number seven, James Cook taking the ball off the shotgun. So they're in a, they got a trip set tight here, so this will be quite an interesting play. Um, see, see what these three guys do on the on the left side of the field. He finds his so, man right in the middle of the field, number 25, Quine Pryor. What a reception. That is quick cook prior reception let's take another look at the quick hands there steven your thoughts on so, this yeah, play classic so you, you put your best receiver on the far on, on the other side everyone's watching those trips and you bring him ni a nice slant on the inside this guy I, I said it to someone down there he's got a white lid i think he's an ex warriors player yes he's very good we, we do recognize that ability james back in the pocket he's looking up the middle again and his man is nowhere there ball is out overthrown receiver is nowhere to be seen that ball is going to be incomplete uh, so yeah, like, well, but, you know, and then they've gone to their danger man again there. So I think something that we need to be, as the Knights need to be watching out for here is, uh, you know, that you, you don't want to, you don't want their danger players to get too hot, all right? And uh, and and this is what we're at risk of, especially in the red zone. Well, you heard it from Steven. Let's keep the danger players from getting a little bit too hot. Shut them down. Stop them emotion, as we say, huh? Stop them emotion. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, second and a long ten for the Kent Exiles there. James Cook on the ham, up the shotgun once again. He takes a snap. He sits in the pocket. The pressure is being put on, and Freddie is going to go. Lovely, lovely play. He gets play. put on by Michael Peacock. What a play by the Farnham Knights. They break that up. Let's take another look at the pressure that came on by the defensive line by the Farnham Knights on that play. Michael Peacock so puts the speed on. I actually think this was a coverage play. So if you look at 25, he was double. The, the, the QB looked straight at him. He was covered. QB turned back around and, he, and, and the pressure was there. So I think that was actually a, a good coverage. It was double coverage on that receiver, forced the QB to scramble. Um, and great, great pickup by Peacock. 
Great pickup by Michael Peacock. He's been doing some great, uh, great work this season. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at it. He's got a great stature on him. He's a rookie, you know, and, and he, he's a strong, uh, he's, he's a strong guy. He's a good athlete, Ten. and he's learning the game well. And he, you know, he's let's, let's say that's typically a lot of the, the nights this season. You know, we got a lot of rookies, we got a lot of young guys, but a lot of good athletes that are just picking up the game and learning their trade. So uh, it's not, you know, it's, it, it's, there's a good feeling around the club despite the, uh, you know, the, the, the results and, and and currently where they are in the league. Um, the, 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 there's a good feeling that we're building something here, and he's, he's certainly one of those players that. Um, epitomizes that. Definitely, I agree with you there, Stephen. He is a good example, and he puts a lot of dedication to the team. And all these players there. Uh, once again, I, we mentioned it before. Uh, when you become one, uh, one of these players, it's not just being a player; it's being part of a big family. Third down situation here. Okay, so they've gone the other way now. They flipped that play, and I think number 25 is the target because they got the trips on the left. Well, like the defense is left, and uh, and that, that danger man number 25. So they may just do that quick slant in this time. So well, let's take a look at it. There's that. There, there it is. <laughs> number 25 is up the field. Stephen caught it. He's looking for his man. It's a clean play. Stephen called that play. Huh? Yo, looks like you. Are you sure you don't have the book in your pocket today, uh, Mr. Price? I just played for a long time and, and, <laughs> uh, and played in the middle of the defense for a long time. So well, yes, yeah, even I, I, can, I can testify to that. I've commentated many of it, uh, many of your games. And look at that play once again on the incident replay, Stephen. And there he is, looking for it number so, 25. So it was a bit a bit of a deeper pattern than than, than, than we was than I was expecting, uh, but still to the same to the same guy, the same danger guy. We've we've getting that that tight bunch look on the left side uh, and then and then freeing him up but uh, yeah uh, uh, luckily I got well luckily it was a poor throw um, but he, yeah it was good play what a pleasure exiles come out strong left strong right I bet George AR cooked up the shotgun and the uh, whistle is called it's a live game yeah. offense number seven well, it looks like he Perfect. was trying so, so that, look, this is fourth down. I, I just noticed this is fourth down and long. Um, and, and they've got the delay of game here. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. I mean, really, they've got nothing to lose. So, yeah, maybe they should just go for it. But what they risk here is giving the Knights offense field position right before the half. And not, you know, the Knights get a score right before the half. Well, so that, that would just do nothing so, but help and inflate yeah. their, uh, their, mom, their emotion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a fourth down situation. Looks like the Exiles are going to go for it. A very important conversion here for them. Once again, they come out in the same uh, lineup. Strong left, strong right. George in the backfield. Cool. It's the snap. Clean snap. He's going to the bucket. On and there's oh, the what presser. play. E-Man. It is E-Man on the play. Last week, he took some time off. He was injured. He comes out this week, and he puts the pressure on. Let's take a look at so, the defense on that play. Steven, your thoughts, please. Yeah, it's a ballsy double blitz, right? So we, we, we blitz two linebackers here, um, and 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 really that you know that was a that was a ballsy call, and and it but it came off right. So now we this tackle was made by Eman. Um, the Knights are in the Exiles um, um, half, um, and, and and we've got plenty of time to put a drive together and score. So yeah, what a, a really good play, that, a, a ballsy play, a call that, that actually got the came off. So yeah, nice one, Mr. Price. It is a pleasure having you up here with me today. This has definitely been a good. Time. What a Father's Day we are seeing here. What a game we are seeing by the Farmer Nices. They take the snap in field position. They're going to hand the ball off to Sequala. It's Aaron Sequala. He's looking for some room on the left side. Yeah, Aaron Sequala's got still. Looks like he's got enough for the first down. He is staying on his feet. Once again, that running style by Aaron Sequala is enough to move the chains now for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play there by Aaron Sequala. Uh, yeah, so it was just a, it was a, a lead sweep left. Um, he, he aimed for the sticks. He actually cuts back in because uh, he thinks he can get that, that extra yardage. It looks like he got caged there actually, but it wasn't called. wasn't enough of it. But uh, hopefully enough to get. Yeah, it's enough to get the first down. So yeah, really good play on that first drive. Good. The offense are fired up for this. It's good. Good time to score. Let's do it. And there's Callum. He hands it off to Sequala again. Sequala is making cool. a dive right off the right side, off the guard. Short gain of about a yard. Callum Brown, quick, uh, quick hand off there to Sequala. Yeah, it was number 60. Uh, is it Savior uh, Anura? Great little play by him. Um, coming off his block and spinning off and, and grabbing hold of Allen. That was a really great tackle by him from the middle. Uh, really, you know, completely killed the play. Got a couple of yards, but you know, not, not what it looked like. It was quite a big hole until he spun off that man. So well, yeah, good the, play for him. The, uh, the exile defense are here to play, and they are very fast. I've seen some footage of them. These guys do know the game, and they are fast. That is going to be a second down and eight. Oh, oh we got a high snap. Just jump on. And it. there he is. <laughs> 
Big high snap over the head of Callum. Well, we have seen a few of those over the uh, few games there. And uh, Mr. Callum Brown had enough sense to cover that ball up. This one that is going to test the ball back. Uh, loss of about uh, 10 to 12 yards on the Knights on that one. Yeah. Mr. Price, oh. high snaps have been killers to yeah. the Knights this season. Yeah, yeah, and I think, do you know what? I think I've seen one or two every single game, and it's, and it's a shame. I mean, this has now put us, what, third and 20 on our own 50-yard line, and, and, you know, going back to the whole um, uh, momentum thing, or momation as we called it, yeah. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, 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 we've now swung the other way, you know, and we're asking for really for a miracle player to, to get the first down. Well, it's going to be a third and a long 20 here for the Knights as he takes the ball in the shotgun. He's sitting in the pocket. He's looking for his man. He's looking for, for Jameson. Dark. And yeah. pass is intercepted. Intended for Jameson. It's picked up by number two a flag. for the receiver. And he is still on his feet trying to break some tackles. That's number two from the defense for the Kent Exiles. That is Ian Whitehead Love for the you. Kent Exiles on the interception. Now, we do have a flag on the play. we got to get the official ruling from Mr. Keith Wickham. But I do think that the Exiles will still maintain possession of the ball. What are your thoughts on that play there, Mr. Price? Yeah, I, th I think you're right. So the, so the the flag was thrown after the pick, which is probably the most important part of this, right? So it looks like it will be Exiles ball wherever it gets placed, and it looks like it's probably a hold or a block in the back, um, but we'll see. Well, well, let's get the official ruling from Keith. After Wickham. the interception, we have a block below the waist by the returning team. 15 yards for the flag, White will have a first down. Cool. Well, that will be the first down. Interception to Ian Whitehead. That's, the, that's number at one, one today six, from Callum Brown. Let's take a look at this. I don't game. think it did. No, it just came out of his hands, and 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 the the, the DB stepped up. Really nice, really nice. Uh, jumped up to catch out at highest point uh, to give him the best chance of getting it. And a nice, you know, really good rallying around him here for the blocking from the from his XR teammates. Just to show him there was that, that, that penalty there. Very yeah. good way to way to, to progress the ball but you, by you, the you defense. Look, you look at where it brought the ball back. You know, we're going back to their what 30 yard line now, and 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 it was actually the reverse. That's probably at the 35 of the Knights um, actually no that seems like that seems a bit too far because uh, he said it was, oh, it was 15 yards from the point of the, the, of the penalty yeah. there you Sorry, go that's why, yeah so the, you, you wiped off 30 yards of that play 35 yards of that play but uh, they just still maintain possession of Absolutely. the ball yeah. so that's still a plus there for the Kent Exiles Kent Exiles first and 10 ball on their own 30 yard line James Cook number seven the ball on the shotgun he has it off to the quick number man. Look at the speed on him as he breaks holes and gets enough for the first down. That is Daniel Excel, and he excels very fast. You've seen that, Stephen. Let's yeah. take another look at the speed as he breaks great, through that great hole. Great running back, this guy, and, he, and he's so fierce. You know, in, in this situation, this is exactly what you need from your running back. You want him to just get their head down and just ball through everyone, and uh, that will give the Exiles a lift. Right, right, you know, a great time. You know, if these guys can get a touchdown on this drive, they'll go. They'll one go into thirty-four, the half good. one three. Four. Second timeout, Farnham. Well, as a second time out, as we are about uh, one minute and 14 seconds into the uh, second quarter of play, your scoring update here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights 12, Kent Exiles 0. Uh, the Knights are feeling good. Once again, that motion has a big <laughs> and a lot to do with it, Stephen. What would you do if you are on the Exiles now with this time, and how would you try to run out the clock to give your team a little bit of well, mo uh, mo I would, motion? I would do the opposite of running out the clock. I would be passing the ball to make sure that any incomplete passes stop the clock um, and try and try and make make the most of this time. So i be passing the ball as much as possible, really, to get those yards. Well, let's take a look at the field here. Number seven, James Cook, Exiles. Play action, he hands it off to the quick man, Daniel Excel. Oh, Excel's wow. breaking tackles up and down the field. They got butter on his uniform today. No one can <laughs> hold on to him. He's just slipping right on through. Daniel Excel on the carry. Let's take another look at the speedster. Look how he makes these cuts, and he just keeps the body moving wow. forward. There's nothing fancy of the way he runs. It's just forward. He's just, yeah, he's just a tough little runner. Really, really two back-to-back two -back great runs. First and 10, Excel. And yeah, it's off again. to Daniel Excel again. He's breaking tackles. They are really trying to use the little man today. Oh. And the speed from Daniel Excel. That's another good gain of about six yards. Uh, this, 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 this at the end here could have been called for targeting from uh, 25 from the Knights. Uh, when Excel was wrapped up, um, you see this guy coming in late. And, and it, oh, he's so lucky here. Um, That's uh, Ample yeah. Fern. Ample yeah. Fern. Ample um, Fern's got to watch players, out. He can't get called a penalty There was on protest about it, but there was no flag, luckily. James out the shotgun. He hands it off to Excel yeah, again. Go. He gets it. wrapped up by Michael Peacock. Looks like the Knights are getting wise to that play. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to be a, a bit more neutral in my uh, 
in my commentary here, but uh, I can't help it. So you'll have to forgive me, guys. I'm a knight, right? <laughs> well, we knew you were a knight when we brought you up here. The blue's all around your head. <laughs> And we are here in night territory in Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. As we are 28 seconds still in the second quarter of play, James Cook takes the ball out the shotgun. He's going to sit and he's looking for his man. Pass is incomplete, intended for number 89 for the Kent Exiles. That is Danny Whitfield. Pass is incomplete. Let's take another look at the quick hands and how the defense of back of secondary kind of uh, contains the, the exiles clock. on that one. Do we have another time here? Um, which you know, I, I'm quite surprised that our D, our D line have been good. Uh, there was a blitz on as well, so he should have you know should have really had a bit more pressure. Um, nice, nice, a lot of time to throw over the middle, and he should have really done better with that. Uh, the receiver is in a good position. But 20 seconds left, well, according to us, uh, 20 seconds left. Yeah. We'll see what happens. It's, on the field. it's pretty close. Yeah. At second and ten. Getting rowdy here. James Cook got the shotgun. He takes a snap. Play action fake. James Cook sits in the pocket. He's looking downfield for his man again. Wow. And it's broken up by Mr. Kidd. What a defensive play wow. on number 35 for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look. So, what an important play for the, for the uh, e Exiles One, that got broken seconds. up by the Knights. The, the Knights played well, but the quarterback threw it to the only double covered player on the pitch. Why? You know, look, so look at, he was doing his check downs. He was looking. Um, and if you look, this. When, when he released the ball, this player was the only guy that had two players near him from the Knights. Um, I, I think it was a bad decision by him, but uh, yeah, good for us. But uh, yeah, I think there was there was better options for him. Well, that makes it the third long ten exile seconds in the second quarter of play. Come on, though. they got the big man in the high back position. James Cook's taking the ball at the shotgun, and the whistle is called. That's Wesley Eversley on the high back, number five Full in the Exiles. Offense, number 25. Five yards, still third down. Well, that's against Quinn running, Pryor, the no wide runner. receiver on that call. So, yeah, that's a, uh, a, a nice penalty for the Knights. Um, you know, get, get, buys us five yards. Uh, got to watch out now. Always after these little penalties, you always got to watch out for the hard count from the offense to try and get it back. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what they come out and try and do. It looks like they're trying to isolate number 25. That's what I'm. That's what I'm seeing. But the Knights are uh, obviously uh, covering, uh, covering in deep and, and shallow. So uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I think I, I think they're going to try and get it into the hands of 25 in the end zone. Well, let's take a look at that play. Let's see if Stephen can call that again. Third and long, 14 here for the Kent Exiles. And we At 13 it. seconds, one three seconds, third and final timeout, Farnham. So well, that's the, enough uh, about two plays. Yeah. So what, well, the Knights here, what they've done is uh, they've substituted off a uh, linebacker and substituted on a DB. Uh, so they've gone for a, a nickel set, so that, that extra coverage to uh, against the pass, which yeah, uh, good call and, and a, a, good, a good idea to call timeout. You know, when uh, they've just had a penalty, they just yeah, 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 you just, the flow. You just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I said, like you know, you you'll do anything to stop the teams when they're hot, and and uh, and, and that, that was this is a good tactical um, move by the uh, by the Knights. Well, that was a good tactical move. Move there, head coach there, Pete Too Tall. <laughs> don't, don't say it too loud. Who hear you? <laughs> Trust me, you can't hear a thing at this time. <laughs> Okay, and as uh, James comes back on the field, the whistle will be blown. We will be starting the time out there. Sitting with about uh, 13 seconds on the clock, enough for about a couple of plays. Third and a long 14, Ken Exiles. So there you go, look. So they got the trips to their, to their right side, single back, that, that danger man Quinn on the, on the left here. Uh, single single back in the backfield, probably, you could say a draw play, probably the block. There's a there you go, he's checking James down. James has got fair time. James is looking upfield. He's looking for his man in the pass. is incomplete, and it looks like it was picked off. No, no, no but we got a flag on the play. That let's be, get the official ruling now. That could be something close up. Could be pass interference. Yeah. And let's take the official ruling there. It could be DPI because it hit, it hit the Knights player in the back. Um, so he wasn't turning facing the ball. And, and that's that's the problem here. That's it, the key. Yeah. You must yeah. be going for the ball. So he, he was, I think he was touching the other player. The receiver, you can't touch him. Um, and his back was to the ball. So well, I, I, if, think, if I think it this is, is DPI. If it is, that's going to be a great opportunity for the Kent Exiles. With yeah. about seven <laughs> seconds left on the clock. Ugh, they could me. push it in and push it home. Are you biting your nails there, Stephen? Yeah. Are you biting your nails? Yeah, I just, I just want to get out there and do something with it, about it. You know, I love it. The pass was incomplete. 
And a pass interference, defense number 30. 15 yards to the previous spot, first down. So yeah. six seconds, six seconds in the game. Well, this is hole. sounding very close. Six seconds. All we're missing is like a little bit of the theme music. Doom, doom, do, 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 do. <laughs> so he's, he said he said first down from the previous spot, which doesn't make sense. I think he means half the distance of the goal, which it looks like they're marking out. So they're, they're at about the ten yard line, uh, just just uh, just outside the ten yard line. So it is first and ten, but it's pretty much a first and goal. You know, like they're they're, they're about eleven yards out. Um, they haven't changed the marker to first down yet, but it is a first down. And here we go. Game taking the ball out the shotgun. Ball hashed on the left side. It's the snap. He's just in the pocket. He's looking for his man. The pressure is being put on. The defense is contained, and James is going to toss it away. And oh. it is going to be good. He finds the man number 89. <laughs> oh, no. What a play to Cook. He finds the big man, Danny Whitfield. And Danny makes it in for a six with only seconds left on the clock. Let's take another look at that play. That is there to Mr. Whitwood. Cook to Whitwood is good for six. The QB does well here to keep the ball alive. It's that, that scramble that to the play. right. That's the end of the half. Have we have one untimely try to come. Um, one untimely so yeah, he, try. He, he, pump, he sort of pump fakes it here. Doesn't like what he sees inside. Um, and then he just sees his, his man coming across the middle. Floats it up to him. Really nice pass. Really nice catch. Great, Touchdown. Sc great scramble Terrible there. timing for us. But hey, well, gr great for the Exiles. Great um, scramble there by, Dan, by James Cook. Games for the hold. Number one to put the extra point up, and it is good. That extra point yeah. attempt there by Harry Kent. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights 12, Kent Exile 7, as we are winding down, and that is the end of your first quarter of play. We would like to thank your sponsors for the show today, bringing you DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Made Production. Stephen Price, your final thoughts on the end of the second quarter of play? Uh, just disappointed about that last bit. So we, we were looking at, if, if, if the Knights had scored, hadn't had that high snap and they'd gone in and taken a touchdown, we were looking at an 18, 19 point differential, right? Going into the half, because you, I, I'm, 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 I'm assuming that the Kent Exiles wouldn't have scored, right? But now we're not. We're, we're now going into the half five points. That's one touchdown, and, uh, and and then they're back in front. So I'm disappointed. We should we, we should have done a little bit more to keep hold of that win. We're st you know we're leading, so something to be positive about. But I think heads will be dropped going into the half, which is never a good thing. Well, you heard it from our analyst, Mr. Stephen Price. Stephen, thank you for being here with Cheers, us. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you after the quarter. Uh, once again, your scoring update, Farnham Knights 12, Kent Exile 7, and we'll see you after the halftime show. Thank you.
Stanford able to score and make their conversion good enough to put seven points on the board and to keep them feeling a lot better as they're about to return here at Farnham, Surrey on the third quarter play. Back to kick off for the Kent Exiles is number one, Harry Kent. Back to receive today is number 15 for the Farnham Knights, uh, Mr. Will Cox and uh, number 89, Stephen Godfrey. That is Cameron Wilcox, number 15. www.bafra.info if you'd like to know more of our rules and regulations or if you would like to be a participant you'd like to be a ref at bafra.info go there and remember hashtag bafa get involved we want to hear all about you we'd like to also hear some more of your um, we have a few streaming channels out there. You can find us on Cheers, mate. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter. Please, hashtag BAFA. Thank you for all your comments out there. As always, we quite uh, really appreciate them. We'd like to also thank our referees today. Your head ref, Keith Wickham. Your ump, Graham Hedges. Your headlinesman, Victor Janvari. Your line judge, Richard Moger. And your back judge, Peter Parsons. As they're about to whistle the game in, let's take the action to the field and let's play some ball. High kick by the Exiles and they're gonna let that go all the way through the end zone. Cameron and Gil and uh, Godfrey say, let that ball go, and they'll be taking the ball at their own 20, Farnham Knights. So we would like to thank our guest analyst who was just up here with us, Mr. Stephen Price. What a wealth of information. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions for Stephen, uh, just go on and send them us to us at uh, hashtag.bafa, and we'll get him to answer. Hopefully, we can get him back up here uh, to spend some more time with us. And again, we would like to wish all of you out there a uh, happy Father's Day. First and 10, Farnham Knights, as they take that ball on the 20-yard line. And there's whistles blown all over the place. We'll get the official ruling. Keith Wickham. Substitution infraction, defense. 12 1 on the field. Five yards, remains first down. Well, once again, you know the rules. Only 11 men on the field. And that illegal substitution, bringing number 56 on, is going to cost them five yards. 12 men on the field. And that will be uh, first down, first and five, Farnham Knights. Free five yards. Nice come out, strong right. The snap, they hand it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room on the left side. Sequala is bouncing off tackles and he's stiff arming and he's fighting for the first down. He may have enough or just a little bit short of. Good carry by Aaron Sequala. He finds a little hole off the left tackle on the left side, bounces off, and as you know, he downshifts, turns on the speed, and there he goes, right there, breaking tackles off of 55. He's got downfield blocking, and he's looking for more yards before he's finally pushed out of bounds by number 33 for the Kent Exiles. Nick Mayer on the tackle for the Kent Exiles. That's going to be second long one, Farnham Knights. Callum, lateral to Godfrey. Godfrey's looking for the right side, and he puts a big move on before he's finally wrapped up. He's wrapped up by number 92, Johnny. For the Exiles, and that is enough for the first down. Godfrey puts the speed on and gets just enough for the first down. Let's look at that again. Lateral to Godfrey. Godfrey turns it on, and look at that move right there before he's finally wrapped up by Johnny. Enough for the first down, Farnham Knights. Callum out the shotgun. Easy snap, lateral toss to Sequala off the left side. Sequala's looking for some room off the tackle and he's bumping into his own man. Started to outrun his own blocking downfield. Bumps into his own man there, James Ingham. But that will be a good enough for four, uh, four, four yards and look at it again, right here. If it wasn't there, boom. He may have gotten a few more yards, but that's going to be second long six nights. Exiles defense are trying to contain the Knights as they're starting to move the chains on down the field. 
Gallum out the shotgun. Once again, it's Sakala. Sakala, the hole is broken up. The hole is broken up by the Kent Exiles. That is number 15 on the tackle. Lee Morgan, he is doing some work out there for Kent today. He breaks that play up. Let's see if we can take another look at that play and see just how Lee got in there on the, into that backfield. So there's the snap, and there it is to Sequala. Before he knows it, there is Lee. Lee came in from the outside, and after freeing himself up, he was able to put the tackle on. That is going to be uh, catching Sequala in the backfield. That's going to be third, long seven. Callum, Callum sits in the pocket. Callum's looking downfield. He's looking for Godfrey. He's looking for Godfrey, and the ball is incomplete. Thrown a little bit uh, out of Godfrey's reach. Godfrey tries to make a great attempt, but that's going to be incomplete fourth down situation. And here comes the special teams. Look at the pass protection that, that we had there. The O-line doing the work. He puts the ball down there, and Godfrey is trying to run for it. Unfortunately, that is a little bit of out of his reach. Clean defensive play there by the Kent Exiles, and that is going to be a fourth down situation. Back to receive is number 33 for the Kent Exiles. M uh, Nick Mayer. Number 99, Mr. Nevin punting for the Farnham Knights. At 12.34, 12.34 in the third quarter, first time out, Farnham. Well, looks like we got some confusion on the play there by the Farnham Knights. They didn't have enough players on the field, so a timeout was called, and they put Michael Peacock, number 92, back on, on the field. And now they will resume play, but that did cost them a timeout. Will be marked on the card. Back to the action of the field, fourth down. Clean snap to Nevin. The pressure is being put on by the special teams. The exile is a claim put right down there to 33's hands. And he is breaking from the outside. He is breaking more tackles. And he is wrapped up by Appleford. Appleford was not letting him go. Nick Mayer was looking for anywhere to go but, but to Ampleford, but Ampleford finally wrapped the icky hands on him and would just drug him right on down. Let's look at the special teams got down there for the Farnham Knights, and they were able to make that tackle. No return yardage there for Nick Mayer of about five yards, Vinny, and that is going to be first down for the Kent Exiles. That ball will be marked on the 29-yard line. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. James Cook, number seven. James takes the ball. He hands it off to the speedster once again. But the Knights have him wrapped up. That's handed off to number 12, Daniel Excel. Excel is wrapped up. He pumps the legs, but it looks like he will have a forward progress of about a yard and a half. That'll be second in the long nine. Exiles. Look at Daniel Excel. He is quick, but the line is held up. And there it is, the defense. Mr. Andrew Welsh, 52. Him and E-Man, they wrap him up along with Mr. Powers. Nowhere to go. Second, long nine. Cook out the shotgun. He hands it back off to Daniel. Daniel Excel breaking tackles up the field. And look at the moves he puts on. He breaks another tackle before he's finally hit by Mr. Kidd. Oh, Daniel Excel, once again, he must have some butter on that uniform because he has slipped, sliding away and downfield. Let's look at the moves that Daniel puts on once he gets midfield. So you'll see very quick off the field, finds the hole and look at the move right here, boom. What a move by Daniel Excel and just progresses right on down the field. He breaks more tackles. Yes, that young man can run. First and 10, Exiles. They hand it back off to Daniel Excel. Daniel Excel off the right side of the tackle. Good enough for another five yards. Well, it looks like they're going to be working that at Daniel Excel today. Tom, go. Get Lexi off. 
Off comes big 69, Alexi, and in comes big Tom Outway, number 66. As a nice attempt to plug up that line and keep Mr. Excel from breaking on through. That's gonna be second and a short five. Kick. The snap. Cooks is in the pocket. He has all the time in the world, and the ball is almost into Bellari's hands. Bellari, wearing number 30 today, almost had the pickoff on that one. Secondary saw that coming and a pass well broken up there by the Knights. Let's take another look at that play. Cook all the time, he sits in the pocket. The old line for the Exiles gives him a lot of time, but he's looking for his man and he didn't see Bellari coming. That was intended for Tom Lee. Number 10, pass is incomplete. It's third down, third, long five. They hand it off to the big number five, the big man. He's trying to break through. He's pushing hard for the first down. That is Wesley Eversley on the carry. Eversley trying to push hard for the first down before he's wrapped up by the boys in blue. Let's see where they're gonna mark it. So let's see exactly where they're gonna mark it here. And the chains are coming out as they have to measure it. You heard Keith Wickham. What a drive there by Eversley. They pull out Excel and they put in Eversley, the big man, and he passes and blasts through and pushes hard on the very important third down conversion for the Kent Exiles. And as they measure the chains, let's see exactly if he has it or not. Looks like it may be short. Oh, let's get the official ruling by Keith Wickham. And it is gonna be short. That is gonna be a fourth down situation for the Kent Exiles, fourth and a long two inches for the Kent Exiles. Oh, ever so short, Eversley on the carry. A great attempt, but not enough to get the first down. That is gonna be a fourth down situation for the Kent Exiles. And let's see what they're gonna do on this very important uh, conversion. Third and a couple of inches. Fourth down, there we go, my apologies, fourth down. Okay, and here we are. Feel the tension on the field, fourth and inches. Cook, out the shotgun, Cook, he hit. Play action, fake to Eversley. Cook is running onto the right side, he's looking downfield. He's looking for his man, and the pass is incomplete. Cook runs out the right side of the pocket. He's looking for his man downfield, and that is going to be containment shut down by the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. As you can see, Cook, the pass protection is not there on this play, and there is Big 52 as they're pushing him out along with Nevin. Nowhere to go on there. Great pressure being put on by Andrew Wells. That is going to be a fourth, uh, first down for the Farnham Knights. The defense shuts down the Exiles on that one. Let's see if the Knights can convert and capitalize on that uh, turnover of the possession of ball. First and 10, Farnham Knights. The snap. Callum's looking for Godfrey. Callum's got Godfrey. It's Stephen Godfrey. He's at the five, the four, the end zone. Stephen Godfrey. Callum Brown, the Godfrey combination. Godfrey had his man beat all day long on the right side of the field. And Callum, all he had to do was send him the letter and it found his place into Stephen Godfrey and he turns it into six. Let's take another look at that play.
Great pass protection by the O-line. And watch Callum as he sends it up. He just knows Godfrey's going to be there. Up, up, and away into Stephen Godfrey's right on the number. A couple of skips and a jump into the end zone. That is going to give a uh, conversion for the Farnham Knights. They're going to go for two. They hand it to Sequala. Sequala's going right up the middle, and that's two points for the Farnham Knights here in Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Look at the Knights go, Knights go. Let's take another look at that extra point. No one was touching him. He just kind of cruised it right on in. Great block there by Freddie. The special team says let lets the koala go right on in. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights, 20. Kent Exiles, 7. The score was at 9-14, 9-1-4 in the third quarter. Hashtag BAFA. Get involved. Let's hear your comments here. And remember, you can always find more information of the BAFNL League at www.bafa.com. And for more information on the rules and regulations, that is www.bafra.info. That's bafra.info. Action on the field. Niven number 99 to kick the ball off, and he kicks it straight drive down to the Exiles. He jumps off the hands of Mr. Exile. Number 12, and look at him put the speed on. It's Daniel. He's going down the field. He is going all the way before his body pushed out by Mr. 99 Nevin. Daniel Excel. Daniel Excel on the return. Let's look at the speedster again. Oh, he runs like he stole something. Right there, he drops it, but then. With an out of glance, he picks it back up and turns on the speed. Going to return, oh, blocking the back by the return team. But we do Hang have a flag, flag on the play, and that looks like it is one. going to be against the Kent Exiles, and that is going to be such a disappointment after such a great return by Daniel Excel for the Kent Exiles. And look at this right there. There, there we go. It looks like we, oh, there we got a hold. Now I see the flag. Rightly called there by the referees on the field. That's gonna definitely push the ball back. Uh, great break by the Farnham Knights. Unfortunate by the Kent Exiles. That ball's gonna be marked on the 17 yard line. First and 10. Daniel's looking for a hole. He's got him broke, but he finally reaches into the secondary of the Farnham Knights. That's going to be a good gain of about six yards for Daniel Excel. But Farnham Knights better come up with the remedy to shut him down and soon before he starts putting some points on the board. Look at the speed. He does not look tired. And he's just finding the holes. And once he just gets a little bit of an opening, he makes it a positive gain. The Knights better find the answer to Daniel Excel very quickly. That's going to be a second down, second and four. Excel is going for the first down, and he may have just a little bit, a little short. Let's see, yes, there is going to be enough for the first down, and if they can do this all day long, the Kent Exiles will march themselves right down to the field. Daniel Excel is finding the smallest of holes, and he is punching right on through for positive gains on every carry. Once again, Daniel Excel. Even when the hole is broken up, he just seems to just slip right on through. And it is blowing and gusty here in Farnham, Surrey today. First and 10. Ball is on the 25 yard line. The snap. They hand it to Daniel Excel off the right side. Daniel Excel on the carry. He gave her a good gain of about four yards before he's wrapped up by the boys in blue. Nowhere to go after that one. Blari on the tackle. Illegal formation, five men in the backfield by the offense, five yards, still first down. 
Oh, there's a legal formation call. Too many men in the backfield. They had five men in the backfield, and that's going to cost them five yards. And it looks like we do have an exile getting up a little bit slow. On the carry, and that is Daniel XL. Looks like Daniel XL took a little bit of a hit, but he's back on his feet. And they are giving him a good round of applause. He is putting in the work here for the Kent Exiles and representing his team in fine fashion here today. Well, that is going to be a first down, and those penalties are going to kill Kent today as they push the ball right on back to the 25-yard line. That's going to be first down and 15 as it's blowing very hard here in Farnham, Surrey. Exiles come out strong right. George and Eversley in the backfield, and they hand it off to Eversley. Eversley off the right side, and he is wrapped up. Nowhere to go. He gets a gain of uh, about a yard and a half before the Knights kind of wrap him up on that one. Nowhere to go. Andrew Welsh all over him on that action. Let's take another look at this at uh, the Farnham Knights as they just collapse that hole, and they are all there. Niven gets a hand on him, enough to slow him down for Welsh to wrap him up, and there is E-Man, the boys in blue. <laughs> they put him right on down. That's going to be second and ten. It comes out strong right. George and Eversley in the backfield. The snap, they play action fake. He's got the pressure, and he's looking for his man on the right side, and he finds George. George is breaking some tackles before he finally put out of bounds. The pressure was being put on. The defense put the pressure on to James. James Cook looks to the right side. He finds George, number 26. Screen pass to George. George, good gain of about two yards. Short carry for the Kent Exiles. Third down, third and a long four. Now look at Quickly on the instant replay, there's that play. And look at there, E-Man comes right through the hole, and that's why he had to get rid of that ball real quick. Back to the action on the field. Third, long four. The snap, they hang it off to Eversley. Eversley's looking for a hole on the left side. E-Man wraps him up, big 90. Puts the Farnham hug of truth on him, nowhere to go on that one. Short yardage as he tries to push for the first down on Eversley. Andrew Welsh comes out, and we bring out Wake back in there in a big 66. Big Tom. Keith Wickham says it's short, and that's going to be a fourth down situation. Defense for the Farnham Knights is putting in the work, and they are stopping the Kent Exiles here in Farnham, Surrey. Exiles going to be going for it again. Fourth down situation. Exiles puts Quinn Pryor spread right. Eversley. George in the backfield. The snap. Play action. And he's going to keep the ball. The pressure is being put on. And it may be a stack. And the boys in blue have him. And he is finally throwing the ball away. And it is intercepted. Oh, no. What a play and turn of events. Did you see that? Even while he was being grabbed and torn, James gets the ball out, but it becomes an interception, and that is going to be a great turnover for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play and how the pressure caused the determination of that play. There's the snap, and the play actually rolls to the right side. He's looking for his man, but no, there he is. <laughs> Nobody touches Mr. Kidd, and then Mr. Nevin, he breaks it, and then the ball is out, bounces off Tom Tame into the hands. What a play of Mr. Bowers. What a play. I mean, of Mr. Peacock. What a play by the Farnham Knights. That's going to give them first and 10. Perfect midfield position. Brown on the snap. Hands it to Sequala. Sequala off the left side. Sequala's cutting. Sequala's still on his feet. It's Aaron Sequala looking for the first down before he's finally pushed out of bound. Aaron Sequala. Guts and glory all day long as he pushes for more yardage for the Farnham Knights. Look at Aaron Sequala. Look at the juke moves there. I think he's been starring on Dancing on Ice recently. I better check the next episode. 
The Koala on the carry. That's going to be second. He was short. Second in the long four, Farnham Knights. Nice snap. Lateral. Lateral to Godfrey. The ball hits the ground. The lateral toss is too low. Godfrey just lays down on it. That's going to be negative yardage. Loss of about a yard and a half, yard and a half for the Knights. Let's take another look at that. Great snap here by House. Right into the hands. Boom. Lateral, but it's a little too soon. Godfrey's not there yet. I know Godfrey's fast, but give him time to get set up. And that's going to be a broken up play. That's going to be a third and a long six for the Farnham Knights. Timeouts being called by the Farnham Knights. We'd like to take this time. 3.42 in the third quarter, 3.42, second timeout, Farnham. I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors today. DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Blaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, LT Sports, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Made Productions. And once again, we'd like to thank you for watching as always. Hashtag BAFA, get involved. And if you'd like to know more information, www.bafa.com. And for more uh, information on our rules and regulations, that is www.bafra.info. That is bafra.info. We're here really hoping that everybody's having a lovely day, even though it's kind of gusty here. And what a Father's Day we are having here in Farnham, Surrey, as the Farnham Knights are leaving, leading the Kent Exiles in the third quarter of play here in Farnham, Surrey. Third down, third long six. Midfield position. The whistle is blown. Let's play ball. Nice snap. He's looking again upfield. He's looking for Sequala. It's Aaron Sequala. And he drops the ball. And it goes out of bounds. And it may be dead, but he looks like he had possession of the ball. Let's see what they're going to mark it. What a play. Aaron Sequala on the right side. I didn't expect it. He didn't expect it. And either did the Exiles on that reception. Let's take another look at that. And Aaron's off the right side, and there he is. He's got his men beat, and boom, right in the hand. So, yes, he takes more than two steps. So that would be a fumble, and the ball goes out of bounds, which makes it dead. That is going to be first and goal, Farnham Knights. Sequala off the left side. It's a foot race. Sequala's trying to get into the end zone. He is finally drugged just short of... What a play, and Pete Tutal is not happy about that play on the field. He thinks it should be a flag on there. And here out comes Callum Brown as they are right on the goal line. The Farnham Nice guys going to be second and goal. Let's see what happened here. Okay, so, so the hole gets broken up there. So Koala makes it a foot race to the outside. And then he gets, there it is on the back of the collar. I understand what Pete Tutal was disturbed about, but it wasn't caught by the referee. That's going to be a clean one, and that's going to be second and goal. Farnham Knights, they hand it back off to Aaron Sequala. Sequala's looking to go up the middle, and it's Aaron Sequala! Sequala is good for six. Let's look at the hole that got made there by House and by... Um, the O-line DC to make that possible for Aaron Sequala. Let's take another, there it is. And look at Freddie too. Oh, the big men are pushing through. Aaron just follows right on through. That's gonna be good enough for six. The Farnham Knights are showing it off here today in Farnham, Surrey. They're gonna go for two. They're gonna hand it back off to Aaron. Aaron wants more. Aaron's trying to push it on in, and it is gonna be good enough for two as the Farnham Knights starting to make a big point spread here in Farnham Rugby Stadium and Farnham Surrey. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights 28, Kit Exiles seven. Let's take another look at that. Aaron is hungry for the pill today, and he wants it all to himself. Look at as he pushes it right on through. Good play call by the Farnham Knights. That's going to be enough for a good two-point conversion as they're starting to make that spread known here in Farnham, Surrey. Hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. Let's hear your comments. We are really glad that you're watching today. You know, we've had a lot of good...
good comments from all of you viewers. Thank you very much. And the numbers of you sharing the stream and watching the stream has been astronomical. So we want to thank you ever so much for your support. And we'd like to thank our friends here at Cheers Mate for making this broadcast possible to bring it to you. So once again, if you got something cold, open it up. You got something warm, heat it up. Relax yourselves, turn it up, and let's play some ball. 2.32 in the third quarter of game. Remember, hashtag BAFA. Get involved. Niven, number 99, big boot. He sends it up there to XL, number 12, XL, the speedster. He takes it to the left side. It's XL to the middle. It's XL still breaking tackles. XL is carrying him down to about the 40-yard line. Number 12, Daniel XL. What a name. And oh, is it getting heated up on the field here today. It looks like something happened there, and there's a little bit of a scuffle as they try to contain each other. Let's see if they can get some control out on the field here today. Both team cap, uh, team coaches uh, get their players under control. Now, I didn't see exactly what happened, but um, you don't need much to fire it off at this time of the game. So there's Daniel Excel on the carry. Man, is he fast as he takes that to the left side. He's finding some hole. Got great blocking. Once again, he must have butter on that uniform. They can't hold him, and he keeps the legs pumping. But then something happens after the play that causes the scuffle. But we're going to take the action back to the field. First and 10, Kent Exile. Ball is marked about midfield. James Cook picking it out the shotgun. Hands it to Daniel Excel off the right side. Daniel Excel is breaking home. Daniel Excel is still on his feet. He is duking left and right before he's finally wrapped up by the boys in blue. Oh, Daniel Excel. The Knights need to have an answer to stopping this man once he has the ball in his hands because he is quick, quick, quick. Look at Daniel Excel off the line. And he just turns it on and he just slides right through. What a great run. They hand it off to Daniel Excel again. Boom! He gets wrapped up by E-Man. Nowhere to go but in the hands of E-Man, and that's going to pick you right on down to the ground. I guess and E-Man may be the answer to Daniel Excel, but if so, we're going to be in trouble because E-Man is coming up the field. That's going to be a uh, second down situation. Second down, second, long eight, Excel. Play action to Daniel Excel. Excel going up the middle. And he's wrapped up there by Bellari. Daniel Excel takes it for another four yards. That's going to be third. Third about five. Let's get the official ball marking once again. Daniel Excel. All he needs is a small hole, and he squeezes right on through. And there's Bellari. Bellari just wraps him right on up. But he <laughs> Excel just drags him right on down the field. So it's the Eversley Excel show from Kent Exiles today. 35. Eversley in the backfield. James Cook off the shotgun. Strong left for Exiles. It's the snap. They're screening it off to number 89. Boom! Shaka Laka, Shaka Laka. Oh, does he get hit hard? Danny Whitfield, but he holds on to the ball. Boom, he gets hit. Let's take another look how that was put on by the Farnham Knights. Nowhere to go for Daniel. They read that play like the Jungle Book. There it is to the left, and here he is. Boom, it's Powers all day long. He powers him right on down, and that's gonna be no gain. Fourth down situation, fourth and a long six. This is the end of the third quarter. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the third quarter of play. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update today. Farnham Knights 28, Kent Exiles 7. And we'd like to thank our sponsors for bringing you the fifth edition of our live show here today in Farnham, Surrey. We would like to thank DNA Brickwork, 
Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glass Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. And as always, we would like to thank you for watching our live stream as we bring it from our field to your home. And we'd like to also point you to uh, BAFNL, www.bafa.com. That's B A F N L, B A F N L. A.com to find out more information on the BAFNL Premiership South League and our standings here. Fourth down situation on the field as they switch around on the field, uh, switch sides of the field. Daniel Cook's going to be taking that ball out the shotgun, and the Exiles are spread right. And let's play some ball. Keith Wickham blows it in. And they're getting rowdy here in Varna. It's a wide snap and boom! He gets snatched up by 99 Devin! Oh, did you see that one? He put the grizzly grab on him, slings him down to the right side. Nowhere to go on that one. And they're just doing the joy jumps out there in the field on that one. It's good to see the boys in blue smiling and having a good time at the home stadium today. Let's look at how Nevin grabbed him again on that one. And he had nowhere to go on that one. Oh, snack a lack -a. <laughs> Blari says, let me just rub you all over. And that was a great one. That's going to turn that ball to the Farnham Knights. First and 10, Farnham Knights. Callum Brown out the shotgun. He sets back. He's looking downfield. He's looking for Godfrey. He's got Godfrey! Steven Godfrey all there. The coverage was on him. They had him double coverage, but Stephen Godfrey, they said the boy can't jump, but he jumped up and he made it clear. Let's see if we can have another instant replay. What a play, Stephen Godfrey. Pass protection there. He looks up. He leads Godfrey like a lovely, jubbly habit. Look at that catch. Double coverage. Godfrey still comes down with the ball. That's going to be first and 10 for them nights. Brown, shotgun. He hands it to Sequala. Sequala jukes to the middle. Oh, the exile stop him on that play. Stopped there by the secondary number 44 for the Kent Exiles. That is Marion Smith. Hi, Marion. Nice to meet you, too. Marion Smith on that tackle there. going to be a loss of about a yard and a half. Second, long 12. Brown, Brown sitting in there. Brown is looking for his man downfield. Brown is looking for the man. And we got a flag. Flag unintended for the receiver. Big 88 and that ball is incomplete, but we do got a flag. Let's get the official ruling by Keith Wickham on the field. Okay, we get the uh, official ruling. Halftime court. <laughs> Pass interference. Offense. Number 80. 15 yards from previous spot. Second down. Well, that's going to be against the Knights. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened on that play. Okay, Callum is sitting there in the back. Well, I didn't see exactly what happened there that really caused that infraction, that infraction, but that is going to be against the Farnham Knights, and that is going to be a long second down play for the Farnham Knights. Second, 26. Callum Brown out the shotgun, so call on the eye back. Strong right. Brown sits in the pocket. Pressure's being put on. Brown's looking for his man. It's intended for Godfrey in and out the hands. What a defensive play by the Kent Exiles. Jared Gray, number nine. He breaks that play up and keeps Godfrey making that quick reception. What a play. Great pass protection here on the O-line. 
He sends it right on out there. Godfrey jumps right on up, and look at Jared Gray as he breaks that play up. Nowhere to go, and that is going to be a third and very long 26 for the Farnham Knights. Callum on the snap, hands it off to Sequala. Sequala's got the room on the left side of the field, and Sequala's powering down. Sarah Sequala on the carry, and it looks like he has enough for a good 20 yards. That still is gonna be short for the first down. That's just getting it back to the line of scrimmage. So that is gonna be third and eight. What a carry by Aaron Sequala. He finds a hole on the left side. He follows it right on down, downfield blocking. Great play by the Farnham Knights. Fourth down situation. Farnham Knights gonna be going for it as they are in Kent Exiles territory. Callum Brown taking the ball at shotgun. Oh, he does the call that may have been enough to pull the Kent Exiles off. That may have been enough on a snap. Let's get the official ruling there by Keith Wickham on the field. Line judge says, uh, I will tell him exactly who they saw got pulled off. Very daring uh, call snap Offside. there. defense. Was good enough to draw yards, the Kent Exiles off, down. and that is going to be uh, five yards. They'll be marking that ball. That still will be enough, not enough for the fourth, uh, first down, but that will be a uh, better fourth down uh, ball position for the Farnham Knights as it makes it fourth and three. Farnham Knights as they are still in Kent Exiles territory as they're starting to push into the red zone. Game's in big 88 on the right side. They put it off to Sequala. Sequala right up the middle. Sequala spins off the side of the middle and rushes to the outside. And it still may be enough for the first down before he's brought down by the Exiles. What a play, and it is enough to move the chains. Sequala, he bounces off. The hole gets collapsed. He finds a way to spin off to the right, left side. Right here, boom. And a quick spin keeps on his feet. And he runs for more yardage. It's a foot race between him and the big man, 44, before he's finally tripped up. That will be enough for the first down. Farnham Knights. Fourth down, first down, first and 10. Knights. That snap, and he's looking to the right side. He's looking for big 88. Oh, Callum overthrows his intended receiver. That is going to be pass incomplete. Looking for the big man on the right-hand side. Pass is a little bit overthrown, and that is going to be an incomplete second and 10. We'll take another look at that play. Callum Brown, he has a quick, quick snap. Pass protections there, just overthrows his man in that corner. <laughs> you can see the intent on that one, but that is gonna be a pass incomplete. Second and 10, Knights. 7.05 in the fourth quarter of play. Knights take the snap. Play action, fake the Sequala. They're gonna keep in hand as the throws it to Jameson. Jameson is hit after a gain of a five yards by the big 33, Nick Mayer for the Exiles. Great play action, fake to Sequala. Brown keeps it, makes a roll to the right side. Let's look at that, and boom, he finds Jameson, 87. The big man holds onto the ball before he's finally wrapped up and brought down. That will be a positive game for the final Knights. That is gonna be third down, third long four. Godfrey, Jameson, far left side. Big man, 88 on the far right. They hand it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the right side. Sequala is drugged down. He is drugged down by Marion Smith, number 44 for the Exiles. Nowhere to go on that one. And that's gonna be a fourth down, uh, fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights. What a play by the Exiles. Way for the defense to contain him. And you can see there is Marion right there as he grabs on to Sequala. Nowhere to go but down for Sequala. Great play there, Mr. Smith. Fourth down situation.
944 in the fourth quarter of play. What a game, what a game. You got the big 88 on the A side. And there he is, he tosses it to the big man on the far right side, and it is, oh! It looks to be intercepted, and it is intercepted by the Kent Exiles. What a play by the defensive back there, Nick Mayer, number 33, as he gets his hands on the ball on that one. What a play, they were looking for the big man in the corner. They have been working on it through the day. Great toss up, but when it came to grabbing the ball, Nick Mayer found out, and he was gonna come down with it, and that's gonna be an interception. Great play by the defensive back for the for the Exiles. That's going to give them the ball. That ball was down, uh, uh, intercepted in the end zone. That uh, Kent Exiles will take the ball on their 20-yard line. First and ten. Kent Exiles. Cook on the ham. Eversley eye back. Quinn Pryor on the right side. The snap, they hand it off to Eversley. Eversley looks for a hole on the draw. Eversley's breaking through. What a run by Eversley. Eversley finds Wesley Eversley finds a hole off the left side. And once he gets clear of it, he stands up and runs right on through. Good grain, that's gonna be enough for the first down. Let's take another look there. Wesley Eversley on the carry. There it is, boom, he has blocking. And he, after that, it's just intuition. He finds the hole and turns the speed on. Great carry. First and 10, they hand it back off to Eversley. Eversley off the left side before he's finally wrapped up by the Farnham Knights. Gain of about two yards. E-man on the tackle. Let's take another look at how the Farnham Knights defense broke that one up there. They were ready and there it is. E-man caught him right when he hit the line of scrimmage. After that, uh, his momentum takes him for a couple of yards before he's finally brought down. Second and long eight. Play action to Eversley. Eversley taking it. Eversley's breaking through some holes. Eversley good enough for the first down. Wesley Eversley's putting in the work for Kent today as he's starting to break through some tackles and finding himself in fine form to move the chains down for the Kent Exiles. Let's look at Eversley again as he finds his blocking. He follows the man, follows the hole, and after that, he just powers on through his own. Good enough for a power gain. That's gonna be enough again to move the chains down. First and 10, Kent Exiles. Strong right, Kent Exiles lined up. Eversley in the high back. James Cook takes the ball out the shotgun. The snap. Cook, the pressure is being put on. Cook has nowhere to go. Cook is running backwards, and the pressure is still being put on. He's looking downfield for a pass. He finds Eversley. Eversley on the reception. Eversley's going to the end zone. It's Eversley on the end zone. Eversley puts a point on the board. From rags to riches, Kent Exiles make it work. Let's look again how that play went from rags to riches again. It gets broken up and then James goes back, skip de doo He still has enough common sense to look downfield and there's Wesley just 10 yards out. He finds Wes Eversley, he gets it and from there it's all about him in the end zone as he fights to get six on the board. And here come the Exiles as they're going to go for the extra point conversion. And there's a flag game. on the field. Offense, five yards, still a try. Well, that's gonna be a delay of game against the Kent Exiles as they try to get a strategic play for the conversion. Your scoring update at this time is Farnham Nice, 28. Kent Exiles, 13, as Kent Exiles are about to go for their conversion play. Will it be a field goal or will they go for the two point conversion as they're just pushed back five more yards? Let's take that action back to the field. Hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. Get involved. We always thank you for your comments. Thank you for your, uh, for watching. And as, as always, thank you for sharing the stream. Hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. Get involved. Extra point conversion for the Kent Exiles. Balls on the seven. The snap. And he's looking nowhere, but there's a flag on the extra point conversion. Looks like that we may have some pass interference. Let's take uh, the official fooling onto the field. 
Ineligible man downfield. The tight end was covered by the offense. The penalties declined. The try is no good. Well, that was an, uh, an eligible man downfield. That was against the Kent Exiles. The Farm Knights will decline that play. That will mean the extra point is no good on the conversion. The scoring update still stands as now the Farnham Knights will have an opportunity to drive the ball back against there the Kent Exiles. In the game. Thank you once eight, again two, for watching the game, the game on the live stream show here in Farnham, Surrey. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights 28, Kent Exiles 13. And then we like to take this time to thank our sponsors. This show today is brought to you by DNA Brickworks, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. Cheers Mate, and once again, we would like to thank you, the viewers, for watching and supporting the show. We would like to always to drive you to know more rules and information about the league and about our referees. Please see their website at www.bafra.info. That's www.bafra.info. Get involved. Find your local team. We'd like to see you here as we take the action to the field. And number one, Harry Kent will be kicking off for the Kent Exiles. Back to receive will be 89, Mr. Um, Godfrey, and number 15, Cameron Wilcox. Harry, he attempts to do an onside kick, but it doesn't look like it clears the 10 yards, and it surely didn't. That is going to be a penalty. A uh, misplay there by the special teams for the Kent Exiles as they try to do an onside kick, giving them the ability to be able to clear it, land it, and get the ball back. But that was going to draw a flag. We'll take the official ruling where they're going to land the ball, mark the ball from Keith Wickham on the field. An illegal block by the kicking team before they were eligible to recover. We had five yards to where the ball became dead. First down, Farnham. Well, that's going to be very fortunate for the Farnham Knights. That's going to give them great field position to, on this drive against the Kent Exiles. And let's see what Pete Tutal is going to do as he calls out the play for uh, Callum Brown. And once again, for all of you fathers out there, we would like to wish you a happy Father's Day. And I'd like to thank you, uh, thank my wife and my daughter for bringing my Father's Day present down to me here on the field. So uh, thank you guys, and thank you all for watching. We take the action back to the field. First and 10, Knights, Callum, Sequala. Sequala is boomed up and locked up. The exile shut him right down. No gain. They meet him right on the line of scrimmage, and there's nowhere to go for Sequala as the hole collapsed completely up. That was uh, number 15 for the exiles. As you can see, between him and number two, <coughs> there was nowhere to go for Sequala. That is number 15, Lee Morgan, and number two, Ian Whitehead, on the tackle. That's going to be a loss of yard and a half for the Farnham Knights, second long 12. The snap, he's looking up field to Carter. Pass is incomplete. My apologies, intended receiver Cameron Wilcox. Cameron, ball is overthrown. Intended receiver Cameron Wilcox, ball is incomplete. Good pass protection here. I take that back, the blitz did come on and he had to get rid of it, but that was a little bit overthrown. Pass is incomplete. Third down, long 11, Farnham Knights. Knights lined up strong left, handed off to Sequala. Sequala on the left, left side, right side. Sequala, a good carry of about six yards. He is going to come up short of the first of the first down. That will be a fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights. Sequala, great carry, great speed, finds himself off the tackle. Great downfield uh, blocking there by Godfrey gives uh, Sequala enough room to tiptoe, get another five yards. But he is going to be short of the first down. That is going to be a fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights, and it looks like they are going to be going for it. Fourth and a long four. Knights.
And we have the snap, and it looks like we have a free play as they throw it off again. And tender receiver was number 15, Cameron Wilcox, but it looks like the Knights may have drew the Exiles offside. That may be against our Lee Morgan, number 15. Let's get the official ruling on the field. Well, you can see they are trying to get that ham over Offside. there. Offside, defense 15, five yards enough for a first down. Well, that was going to be against Lee Morgan. Well, you can see they're trying to get that ham over there to Cameron Wilcox, that wide receiver. Cameron does have the ability, very fast receiver, very capable, and it looks like he's trying to get some points on the board on his side of the field. So that is going to be a first down for the Farnham Knights. Lucky break as they start to march into the red zone of the Kent Exiles. It's a Handed off to Sequala. Sequala looks for a hole on the right side. Bounces off, cuts through the middle, gets another couple of yards before he's finally drugged down by the Kent Exiles. But that is going to be a positive gain for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at how they try to collapse that hole. And the guys just finally have to come through. That tackle is getting put on there by Ian Whitehead and number 55 for the Kent Exiles. And it's Theo, number 55. Knights, second down, second and long six. Sequala in the backfield. Play action to Sequala. Sequala finds a hole on the left side. It's Aaron Sequala. Sequala's fighting for the end zone. Aaron Sequala follows the blocking on the left side of the field. He has Jameson, and he has... Uh, um, the, guard, the, uh, the downfield guard, apologies clearing the way for him, and that's going to be a good game for the Farnham Knights. Let's take a look at that play again. Great uh, blocking for Aaron Sequala. Look at the O-line and the wide receivers on that side of the field. Just open it up. After that, Aaron Sequala just takes it right on through. Good game. Pushes it in. That's going to be first down, first and goal. Farnham Knights. Callum Brown in the shotgun. Hands it to Sequala again. Sequala off the left side. It's Aaron Sequala. He breaks Marion Smith tackle, and he's finally ran out of bounds by number nine before for a good gain of about three yards. That is ran out of bounds by Jared Gray. That will be a good gain, getting them closer to the end zone. Let's take another look at it. It's Aaron Sequala today. As Look at the cut as he jukes right on through. A great stiff arm. Man, this young man can really run, and he has the heart of a lion. Second and goal, Farnham Knights. Jameson Godfrey on the far right side. Cameron on the left side. Freddy, Sequala on the eye back. Shotgun, he's looking upfield. The pressure's being put on. And he throws it away. Great decision today made there by Callum Brown. The pressure was being put on by the defensive line of the Kent Exiles. Cameron had... Uh, Callum had nowhere to go but to throw that ball away. Good decision, so that is going to be a third down situation. But we do have a flag on the field. I hope they're not going to say intentional grounding. Intentional grounding. Number four, offense. Loss of doubt, the spot of the foul, third down. Well, they do call intentional grounding against Callum Brown. <laughs> That will be pushing the ball back five yards, and that will be taking it down third and goal. There are under five minutes in the game, under five minutes. Under five minutes in the game, you're scoring update. Farnham Knights 28, Kent Exiles 13. Farnham Knights are on the 20 yard line. It's third and goal. Jameson, Godfrey, far right. Cameron, far left. Sequala in motion to the line. Ready in the backfield. <laughs> and the flag is called. Oh, I knew it's got to see a fantastic start, play. Offense, number 27, five yards, still third down. And they call against Freddie when he takes a step back. A legal man in motion. Oh, I, you can already see the play. I was feeling Richard. it coming, and they got a flag, Richard. and that's going to push it back Richard. another five yards. That's going to be fourth. Uh, third and goal, but it's really going to be another five yards against the Farnham Knights. Let's see what they're going to be able to do about this one. Callum still feeling confident. It's third and goal. Knights. 
Try this again. Jameson, Godfrey, right side. Cameron, left side. Sequala, and motion to the field. Freddy, eye back. The snap. Cameron's looking downfield. He's looking to the right. He's looking for Sequala. He had Sequala. Yeah, the ball was low, but Sequala's hands just couldn't pick him up, and the ball's going to be incomplete. Let's take another look at that play. What a play by the Farnham Knights. Great pass protection. Callum shoots it right on down there, and there's Sequala. Oh, ever so overthrown, misled and misread. Pass is incomplete. Fourth and goal, Farnham Knights. The Exiles are trying to fire it up over there on their side of the field today, and the ball is snapped. Callum's stepped in the shotgun. Callum's in the back. Callum was looking again for Sequala. He sat in the pocket, a beautiful step back, and he found Sequala, but again, the ball was low, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Look at that play again. Great pass protection. Fires it down there to Sequala, right in the middle, a little bit over red. Once again, an instant replay from the previous play. That is going to turn the ball back over to the Kent Exiles, giving them the first four, three, uh, first and ten. In the game, four three eight in the game. With only four, four minutes three, still in the game, once again, we would like to thank our sponsor, DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glaze Windows yes. and Conservatories, LT Sports, LT Sports, and our friends here at. Cheers, mate. And again, you for watching. First and 10, Ken Exiles. James Cook in the shotgun. James is in the pocket. James is looking downfield. James is looking for his intended receiver, number 89. Pass is broken up by the Farnham defensive backfield. Intended for Danny Whitfield. Pass is incomplete. Let's take another look at that again. The Farnham Knights deep, uh, secondary were all over on that one as they come right on through. That could have been there, but it was a little bit short. Pass is incomplete. Second and 10, Ken Exiles. Exiles lined up, strong left. James Kirk deep in the shotgun. He snaps it. He sits in the pocket. The pressure is on. E-Man pulls him down. It's E-Man. Oh, no one touched the big E-Man as he comes over to the right side. The Kid Exile say that may have been a little, be a little bit rough, but E-Man says that was not rough. That was just enough. Loss of yardage against the Kent Exiles. Let's take a look at that again. E-Man busts right on through, and look at the strength of E-Man as he drags him right on down. Seconds, seven, about 10 seconds. Third and long for the Exiles. Strong right. They hand it to Eversley. Eversley is looking for some room. It's Eversley as he's breaking tackles, still scrambling for the first down. He's got a good game, but not enough. That's going to be a fourth down situation. Wesley Eversley on the carry. The big man breaks through after he finds the hole, and that was good enough to bring the chains down. Not, not good enough to bring the chains down. Look at the big man run, but he's finally taken down low by Powers and the team. Nowhere to go, but down, down, down. Fourth down situation, and a long four. Number 22, Powers looks to be injured. He'll be coming on outfield. Putting in number 24 for the Farnham Knights. About 10 seconds, seven, about 10. Exile, strong right. They got the speedster in the backfield and they hand it off to Daniel Excel. And he is wrapped up. He is wrapped up, Excel. First down, first down. He lines right up into the arms of Bellari on that one. But it may be enough for the first down, and it will be, and then we'll move the chains right on down. Daniel Excel on the carry. It's good enough for the first. Look at the speed that he turns on, and he finally gets forward progress. That'll be moving the chains down, and that'll be first and 10, Kid Exiles. He takes a snap, he's looking to field. He's throwing it way up. He's looking for Quinn, and he has Quinn, but Quinn is out of bounds. That is no good. He finds his man, number 25, Quinn Powers, but Quinn is out of bounds. Ball was just thrown a little bit too far left. 
and that'll be a pass incomplete. Let's take another look at that play. As he sits in the pocket, only a little bit of pressure being put on, and there is the lead. He was looking way deep down there, and unfortunately, just a little bit too far left of the field. Incomplete. Second and ten in exiles. About ten seconds, seven. About ten seconds. And it looks like there's a timeout called on the field. At 2.33, 2.33, first timeout, Kent. So we have a timeout called against Kent at 2.33. And as they come out and bring some of that high class H2O out to the field, we would like to once again uh, thank our sponsors for bringing you to show today. DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, Two Glaze Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheers Mate, doing a lovely job of bringing you our fifth edition of the Farnham Live Show and Farnham Rugby Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Second and 10, Kent Exiles. And Keith calls in, let's play some ball. Out the shotgun, the pressure is put on. He throws it up, looking downfield, and it's right into the hands of Apple. on the interception for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. It went right into the hands of Ampleford. Bad play, bad error on the Kent Exiles on James Cook. Let's see if we can see that uh, instant replay on that play. There is two minutes, 23 in the game. Two, two, three in the game. James sits in the pocket. Now he has a little bit of pressure on him, as we've seen, and he tosses it up, overthrown right into the hands. Couldn't be any better. Great opportunity for the Farnham Knights. A 2-22 left on the clock in the fourth quarter of play. The snap, they hand it off to Godfrey. Godfrey off the right side. It's a foot race. It's Stephen Godfrey. Godfrey's cutting in another four yards. Godfrey on the carry before he's held up. Forward progress will be made. Good carry about six yards. Stephen Godfrey turns on the speed on the right side, gets some downfield blocking, follows it through. That'll be good enough for a good five yards, second down. This is the two minute warning, two minutes in the game, two minutes. Two minute warning, Kent, two minutes. And that is the two minute warning. Oh, we really hope that you're having a fantastic Father's Day today. I know that we are here. It may be gusty, but we'll accept it here in Farnham, Surrey. Once again, we would like to thank you for watching and thank you for sending in your feedback. Hashtag BAFA, be about it. And it's the snap. He sits in the shotgun. He passes it right on up. And oh, good pass protection for Callum. He was looking for his intended receiver, number 13. That pass was incomplete. Tom Lara, the intended receiver. Let's take another look at that. Looking for Tom Lara. And there's the snap. Good O-line work today. They are working so hard this week and you can see it showing its dividends, but that pass was just a little bit misread and misthrown there by Mr. Callum. That is gonna be a third down situation. Third, long four. High snap. They hand it to Freddie. Freddie is caught by the big 58. Oh, Freddie ran right into us, Austin Walker. Austin just about picked him up off his feet before he put him back down. That'll be no gain of any for the Farnham Knights. That will be a fourth down situation. Let's see what the, te what the team and Pete Tutal is going to do on this 40, one. One minute 1 4 0. Second timeout, Kent. Well, as the clock's starting to run now, Clint, uh, Clint, uh, Kent is digging deep into their strategic game, trying to do anything to turn this around and to see how they can put more points up on the board against these Knights here as they are pushing it very hard on their home turf. Fourth down, Sequala, big 84 on the left side. Split left and split right for the Farnham Knights with Freddie in the backfield. Ooh, this is gonna be juicy. The snap, 
Callum sits in the pocket. The pressure is on. Callum puts it upfield. Callum, it's thrown to Nick Mayer again. Number 33, Nick Mayer gets the interception. That's the second time that he had the relationship with Callum Brown, and he has picked him off. Nick Mayer gives Kid Exiles that opportunity now to put some more points on the board. Look at it as he sits right on up the jump. Nick Mayer has a quite athletic ability, snatches it up, and that's gonna be their ball once again on the 10-yard line for the Exiles. One, One minute, 30 left. in the game. One, three, three. So once again, we'd like to thank you for watching the show. We'd like to thank you for watching our previous shows, and you know where to find us at Cheers, mate. We'd also, also like to thank the league, BAFNL. That is the BAFNL Premiership South. We thank you. And once again, happy Father's Day as we start to wind down the clock here in Farnham, Surrey. Mr. James Cook, number seven. Ham, Exiles, out the shotgun. James is looking down the field. He's looking for his man, number 14. He finds it on the left side, but he catches it and he knees himself down. Misfortunate, he could have taken that right on up field. That was to Daniel Simmons, but Daniel Simmons, he needs the ball down. That is gonna stop the, uh, his forward progress, and that is gonna be a second down, second and a long five. Let's take the action back to the field. The snap. He's looking back upfield again. The pressure is being put on James. He is scrambling left and right, and they are diving, and he is still on his feet before he's finally sacked by the man in blue. What a scramble there by James Cook. He tried to find his way out of it, but he had nowhere to go. The boys in blue were all there, and they wrapped him right on up. That is going to be a loss of yardage there for the Kent Exiles. Third down. Oh, they had him bowed and tied on that one, and the boys in blue were not letting him go anywhere around that, and that is going to be a third down situation. Very important play here for the Kent Exiles if they want anything, to, any any possibility to put any other points on the board. That's the 43 seconds of game on the play. Kent Exiles are coming, looking at out the hair. They're looking way downfield. He finds Quinn Pryor. Quinn Pryor meets Amperford. Quinn meet Ampleford. Ampleford meet Quinn Pryor. But that's good enough for a first down. That's going to move the chains on down the field with only 30 seconds left to play. What a quick step there to Quinn. Quinn jumps up. Great hands on that young man. Turns it upfield. Okay. And then he says, seconds, hello, Mr. Seconds, Ampleford. Third and final timeout, Ken. Kent on their third, third and final timeout. Your scoring update here in Farnham. Surrey, Farnham Knights, 28, Kent Exiles, 13. Final seconds of gameplay here, and what a Father's Day gift we are having if you are in Farnham, Surrey today. As always, we'd like to thank our production team. We'd like to thank you, Richard. Thank you, Tom. And as always, we'd like to thank our cameramen for offering their time and skills to bringing you the live action on top. Back to the action on the field. First and 10, get Exiles. And the whistle is blown with the final seconds still to start the game. And there it is. The snap goes to James. James is looking at the pocket. Such, Such is putting the pressure on. James is running to the right side. He puts it to his man, number 82, but the ball is incomplete. Intended for number 82. That is Sean Baker. And ladies and gentlemen, that Back is the, end of the, the game. game. Your scoring update today here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights, 28. Kent Exiles, 13. We would like to thank you ever so much for watching. We would like to thank our sponsors for bringing you the show. DNA Brickwork, Premier Prospects Recruitment, True Glass Windows and Conservatories, LT Sports, and our friends here at Cheersmate. My name is Maz Hilborn. I've been your commentary. Until the next time we meet, peace, love, and American football.
Hey. 